What's up, everybody? Yeah, welcome to the Monday afternoon build stream here on the Grim Green YouTube channel. Listen, I know that I said that I was going on vacation, and I still am, but I wanted to stream today. I just wanted to do one, one more build stream. I need some redemption on these mother trucking dual core aliens that Nick Devine introduced us to last week. So we're going to try these again today. Appreciate you guys being here. I see you there, Flying Custard, Toasty Cheesy, John. Do it doesn't suck to be Dennis because Dennis gets to hang out here every Monday. I see you there, man. Ken, I see you guys there. Uh, we're just waiting for uh, uh, Kent, our, our our esteemed guest, to join us here on this uh, Monday Build and Chill. I'm going to throw on some chill beats in the background, you guys. If it's uh, ever too loud or too quiet, just let me know. Just let me know. Just say it. Just say the word. People are texting me right now. We're just waiting for Kent, but I'm basically, I've done a lot of prep work for these two core aliens right here. A lot of prep work for these two core aliens. Hang on. When your wife texts you, you, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey, there's Kent. I see you, buddy. Hi, Kent. Uh, uh, yeah, good. Hi. Appreciate that was a good one. I'm ready. That was a good one, I'm, bro. I made it almost on time, Nick. You made it a hundred percent on time. Oh wait, hang on. I, I'm I've I've messed what? up. Why did you do that to me? Well, you know, that's the price you pay for being late all the time. I'm just kidding. Thanks, Kent. <sighs> Thanks for being here, bro. Welcome back to the build stream. Here, I don't even have our logos up here we need our logos oh. up here bro logos bro oh. hi kent how's it going kent dude pretty good man you know yeah you feel good <laughs> feeling strong yeah. uh, feeling uh patient feeling a little tired yeah patient yeah i've always got patience nick you always have patience. That's, you always have patience if you see a pain. if you see a builder right who can do like at least the basic coils you know that motherfucker's pretty patient yeah yeah. yeah. You, you, I guess uh, you just have to be. Yeah, you it's a, you cultivate it, you, you know, even if you're not patient, patient to start. Uh -huh. So the process is more painful for some people than others because it depends how much, you know, native patience you have. I have very little native patience, which is probably Do the reason that vape that with building that I kind of gave up in the first place is my lack of patience. For How's building. my Zoom right now? Perfect. You yeah, look great. Perfect. Yeah, totally good. Totally good. It's okay. Bones the Ska was late, too. That's all right. Well, Kent, <sighs> my only real goal today that I wanted to accomplish is I want to do a two-core alien. I want to <laughs> nail it. I want to get it down. Two-core alien, like Nick showed me last week. I couldn't do it. You guys did it so fast, and I couldn't do it. Yeah, no, it, it's. I promise you, it's way easier than three core. Okay. I'm not lying because I got two. I have two coils right here to prove it. I know, and you did them really, really fast the other day too. So, let me show you. This is. Oh come. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. It was one little What's dangle clack. It's okay. It's just one little dangle clack. Hey, at least we got audio, dude. I saw that last vlog you did. I know. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, that was my bad. <laughs> I had it up on my TV and I was just like, oh, this poor bastard. Is he doesn't my, know. Is, is this broken? And I, I could see a... so you were so into that intro too. I was. And the thing is, I did it really well. I did the intro really good. Hang on. I have to I, put you up it here. It looks now. like it. I have to put you up Oh, here. you're already yeah. set up with something. All right. What yeah, I just here? want to show you what, what, what I've been set up, what I did so far as far as my prep work goes. I, I did, I did uh, so this is this is 26 gauge in the ch in the chuck as my core wire okay That's one single 26 gauge no two it's two oh, okay two cool I decored off of a 29 using 37 gauge and then stretched the 37 gauge and I think I'm stretched and I'm gonna try to put these aliens on this core wire. Like okay. that's how now, that's how prepped I am. Does this now? Can, you, can you see this? Can stretch? I just 
What? You can't quite see that stretch, can you? I mean, I see the stretch. There's no way for me, unless I'm in person, to tell right. you if that's overstretched. Okay, okay, okay. But can I just can I just review from my point of view what was going wrong last week with what, you? What you so that was... we can prevent all that pain? Oh yeah, yeah, from... yeah, definitely. Okay. Critique. So last week, here, here's the thing: like when you're doing aliens, oh my god, why is my this thing's just been on, man? Fucking battery new. wasting. Yeah. Do you, I left my fucking microphone battery on last time too. I caught it like two days later. I came down to the basement I'm like, oh, it's dude. green right now. Yeah, I do so that all knows? the time. I leave my cameras on. I'll just stop vlogging and I'll go and I'll like go eat dinner and I'll come back the next day and my camera is on and hot and like yeah. you know, the camera battery's dead, but it's been on for hours. Yeah. Okay, so it still happens to you. So still happens. Too bad. Well, you should feel bad because it's it shouldn't happen. I should have caught okay. these things by now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, so it doesn't make it less dumb just because you do make it. Okay. it less dumb. All right. I, I still feel bad then. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when you have a, let's say when you first start learning aliens, right? You have like a proclivity to. To. Uh, proclivity. Oh, that's so much. Yeah, you have a, a proclivity to try to control every single thing. And once you get good, you can do you can go slow because you understand it and you have a feel for it. But going too slow at the beginning, what is you you try to control yeah. every single one. You're like, I just want to get this perfect. But the problem is every little adjustment you're making with your hand, because you're getting pretty close up on the wire too. Yeah. Is making yeah. a huge adjustment in the actual stretch. Of your decor right right, right. so it, it's going to be changing you might get a few and then what you're letting it slip through too slowly and it's almost paying, impossible because i'm going so, so slow and i'm paying too close going, of attention not necessarily it's just like there, it's very difficult to do what you're trying to do like that would it takes masterful levels of adjustment of your pressure at that close and that slow of a speed to let it continue going through exactly the same okay so what I'm saying is like once you get it going, you want to speed up a little bit at least so that you can start feeling that slipping through your fingers. It's more like a sensation of it slipping through your fingers at a faster speed because mm -hmm. it's every time it slips through, it's it's stretching a little bit and going around the wire, right? Right, right. And so once you get that rhythm, you'll feel like a vibration almost and you get your vibration right. And you know if the vibration starts changing that you need to loosen your grip slightly or tighten it a little bit more. And it, you, you modulate the pressure. It's pretty easy because it feels almost like you're holding a physical object at that yeah. speed. So the, all I'm saying is don't get so stressed out and trying <laughs> to keep it. So don't try to control every little thing and make sure your hands kind of like back here and you're you're, you know, I don't know. I like to relax everything except for my fingers so then I could just focus because once you start tensing everything up. Yeah, see, I do the exact opposite. Do I need to get out of that habit? Because what I do is I lock up. Once everything's good, I'll like lock up and just turn into like a machine and try to stay like completely. Well, if you, if that's working for up. you. If that works for you, I guess it's not working for you. I wouldn't. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, I don't know what's working for me right now. I wouldn't try to mess with it. You know, I think the stage. Don't try to alter any of that stuff because if it's like when you're trying a new workout or something, like a new movement that you've never done before, and you're sure. like focusing on every little thing. No, dude, just put the fucking weight over your head. You know, right? Lift like, don't think about how all the muscles in your back are moving or anything because you're just starting. There's no way that you're going to be able to control that. So I would say, I think all you have to do is just speed up the drill once you get going and trust the process and just focus on what your angle is i think i need to keep my angle i think i was going too far forward because ever since i got it in my head that you need to be a little bit forward it's like the seatbelt thing i just go way too far forward i think i have to keep it forward but still mostly parallel i think Based on your mistakes last, or what the problems were going on last week, I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily true. Yeah, and it I think could it, be. I think you're overcorrecting. Is what's going on. I think it gets too. It starts. The angle starts closing or something, and then you, you freak out, and then you try to pull it forward too fast. Like, that's why what we keep on saying is like, if you keep your hand holding the tension, about fucking, you're about a foot away at least, a foot and a half. Feel the vibe. That way, yeah your adjustments that you make left to right, even if you overcorrect it, it might not fuck you up. Because if you're up close, you overcorrect your way off. So I don't know if any of that yeah. was helpful. 
I, I think I think just speed up. How many decors did you make before a stream? Uh, I have uh, another decor over here off the same wire, and I have one that's stretched. I made two. Okay. Except this okay. one, the one that's on my desk is a little bit too short, and so I went with the longer one. I made a short decor and a long decor. So I'm going to go with this long one that I've pre-stretched out. Okay, and I think, and maybe maybe we do one more thing also, what? is if you make a mess up, st stop, use your pliers, and crimp it flat. Crimp it and flat? Then, and then pretend like it's the beginning again and just start again. Because I think you get, like, somehow emotionally attached to that. <laughs> that little... You're like, My little oh, that part's messed centimeter. up. And it's like you can't forget about it. No. You know? And so I think you should just crimp it, get it out of your mind, and then well, you're starting you know fresh. That, again. Like, I mean, you know that feeling of the, like you feel defeated when you get a little fuck up or a crimp or like it doubles over on itself. You instantly, like all my confidence just disappears. <laughs> like oh, I had it and now I don't. And now my confidence is like reset to zero. So I start mm. overthinking it and I start getting close and meticulous and like try to prevent that from happening again. That's like my mental like, you know, path that I go down every single time. Right, yeah. Too bad that your attempt to prevent it from happening makes it happen more. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm starting to say, like, you know, crimp it or something with pliers. Get it you out of your head. Like, just it's fine, on. dude. I got all this wire left. I have another decor in the fucking bag. You know, we're ready to go if this fucks up. I didn't realize how... Yes, I do have more decor. It's all mm -hmm. attitude. I never realized it's so, it's a re, it's so mental. It's really mental. Like you can mess it up yourself. Like your brain will tell you that, oh, it's gonna oh. mess up. And then I go, oh, and then it messes up. Yeah, it's all in your head. Exactly. It's all in your head. That's, that's why uh, it, it, it's a real trip, dude. You're totally, it's totally self sabotage It's like a lot of other skills too. Cause when I, when I was started skateboarding in like ninth grade, right? I was yeah. like trying to get the kickflip so bad, you know? Yeah. I kept on like, I would flip, put my right foot down and I'm like, fuck it, why can't I just put my foot over there? And one time, I literally closed my eyes. I was like, I'm just going to close my eyes. And I do a kickflip and I land it. And I look down and I'm like, <laughs> like. And you're standing on your skateboard. I'm on my skateboard and I'm like, wait, did that just happen right now? I fucking kickflip with my eyes. All I had to do was close my eyes. I'm not saying close your eyes. Don't do that. I know. I was going to say, so I should just go with this blind fury style. <laughs> take off my glasses. Just, I don't know if I want to do no, no. But don't I do am that. gonna. But, I'm gonna try to look at it. Yeah. Now you can see and see the the issue with these, especially with like a pretty basic alien, is that you don't need them. But I know. But it I ends up being like this. But to, to be able to bad. see it, see it happening at the very beginning, is good. And are you able to with those to like look up and be able to see the wire normally? Yeah. Like to move them out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would use them to get started then. And you obviously you're not gonna be able to move them mid alien, but no. I'm saying then I would just start like. You don't think I should use these? That's what you're telling me. No, no, you can use them to get. So I think you should because I didn't realize like you can't see the wire at all. Like it's it sounds to me like those make you able to see it and you feel like you're completely blind to it without them. So I do feel like I'm completely blind to it without them. Yeah, so I think it's good to be able to see what's going on at the beginning. As long as once it gets going, when you speed up, it's gonna be hard to like track your head that close as you go but all right let's not overthink this just See, fucking go dude another, look fucking go i know i'm rip. gonna go i'm gonna go but one thing is i also think i need to in my time away before we come back and do more build streams i need to reevaluate my drill positioning and like how i'm wrapping with my left hand or my right or like because right now this the decor is going off in this direction i'm trying to stay over here we're gonna do an in live in life live coaching session, Nick. Don't worry. We're gonna get all that right. figured out. Yeah. That's neither here nor there. That's in a few days from now. All right. Okay. Well, you're, all right. Well, I appreciate the help. So I'm gonna try to do. Because I wouldn't overthink that. Pretty much, if you if you started it, your your body is gonna set it up the way that your body wants it. So I'm, I'm assuming that that's gonna be the best way for you because you chose that yourself. No one told you where to put your drill, right? No, I just did it. Yeah, so that's probably what your body wanted, I would assume. It's what my body wanted. Yeah. It just, it feels inconvenient sometimes. It's okay. That's just because you're not good at it yet. 
Thanks, Ken. I think. <laughs> I think it's because you're terrible at it. No, well, I mean, everything sucks when you first start. No, you're like, oh, this feels awkward. It does. You know, like surfing. You're like, man, this surfboard feels kind of big. It's like, no, no, you just don't know how to surf yet. What, what's All with right, this yeah, build stream in analogies? I can't help myself. You love it. You love <laughs> I think I've already analogies. dropped two analogies today. Right. <laughs> Let me slow down. Save some of that gold for later, Kent. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, we're not quite there yet. It's not. Nope. What are you talking about? Nope. Started. That didn't even get started. I'm overstretched, yeah. aren't I? Okay, it's kind of started on there. Yeah, it looks good. All right. So, how far away is your hand holding that fucking wire? Inches. You're six. I'm like. Yeah. Move your hand back right now. You want me to be farther back? Not, really? but don't stretch the wire as you do it, obviously. But like, right, just lightly go back and move it. You want to be at at least a foot and a half. A foot you and a get... half. Okay. Okay. Sixteen inches, dude. It's okay. not that far. All I right? feel like that's. A... I know you feel like that's really far, right? But it feels far when you're up. When you're obviously too close, and I think that's what's been causing your issues because. Every little movement, you have a thought like, oh, I'm going to fuck it up. Your hand moves a millimeter and it fucks up. Like yeah. back here, is, it's going to give you way more room for error. You're going to be able, you, you can move like inches almost without fucking it up when you're back that far. That's what I'm trying to say. So just get used to having it like slipping through your fingers from back there because it's the same exact thing. Speed it up a little bit. You got it. Nope. Oh. There you go. And you're going to start, once you get going like this with a rhythm, you can start feeling how it's slipping through your fingers and just keep that sensation the same. And then watch your angle. It's okay. I would just keep okay. going, dude. Okay. And what's up with your tension on your drill? How much tension you got on that wire? Plenty. Good amount. It's a good tension. All right. I'm going to pull the wire to the other side of me. What just do you mean? Quick. Just my, my decor needs yeah. to go over on this yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah, put it wherever it's going to be best. That's fine. I'll put it over here. I cannot get it. Yeah, this is a your is pressure it, in your hand. Yeah, you think that's your a pressure pre issue. Yeah, you're not keeping the pressure consistent. It's loosening. What's happening is like the you're you're letting it go a little bit too f too. F you're releasing pressure. It's it's going too fast because like what you what we have right here is like a perfectly stretched decor in my opinion. Okay, like this Ooh, is perfectly a, this is a, stretched. I think so. This is like a really good spot because it's USA. USA. <laughs> All right. Because if you get enough, the right amount of pressure. Think if it's uh, it's understretched a hair, just a bit, right? Mm -hmm. So that's good though. Mm -hmm. In this situation, because as you're as you're letting it go onto the wire, you're the pressure in your hand over here is stretching it a little bit. Uh, yeah. So you're stretching it to the point where it's supposed to be stretched, and then it wraps around perfectly, right? So if you release too much tension, you let it go to let your fingers go too loose that's going to contract and the stretch is going to be too small see what i'm saying yeah that's why it's it's all about how much pressure you're holding and and you're back that far so you put more pressure obviously it's going to take 
longer for those to slip through your hand, so it's going to stretch the wire between your fingers and the drill more, right? Yes. So that's really what you're modulating is you're, you're adjusting the, the stretch in the wire between your fingers and the, and the course is going on. But I wouldn't even think about all that. I'm just explaining how it works. Yeah. I'm just trying really, to get the feel. I just want, I just trying yeah. to get the feel. Cause I can feel when it's going, like you said, you know, you can feel when it's going on well and you can feel when it's going on. Well, you can't really feel when it's going on bad. You can I, see when it's going on bad. Yeah. You can see it. I mean, that's but what the, I meant to say. Yeah. So we're just trying to connect with a good look and a good feel at the same time. And so I just, I would just keep going. Okay, here's what happens. Okay. Here, here's what happens. I'll explain this to you. What I just felt happen. Maybe it's because I'm going too slow, but the core wire is twisting. Like uh, the, the Clapton wire, rather, the alien wire is twisting in my fingers, and mm -hmm. I feel like I'm untwisting it. Like I can feel the end that's outside of my fingers turning behind yeah, me. Yeah, remember... Do you remember how Nick explained the whole thing last week? You don't remember it at all, huh? I mean, I kind of do, but I kind of also don't. Okay. Okay. What happens is, as that's wrapping around, you know, like, if you if you have, like, a, a, a spool of wire or thread or something, and you accidentally, instead of, instead of letting it unspool, mm -hmm. you actually pull it off from the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it gets all knotted up. Yeah. Right? Because every time you wind something around something, it's actually, it's twisting. It's twisting in a spiral as it goes around, right? So your wire is twisted and it is untwisting in order to go straight onto there. So it is, it's supposed to do that, is what I'm saying. Whoa. So you, you want it it's to a... not spin because it has to spin. That, that's what happens. As it runs through your fingers, the alien will spin like that because it's literally untwisting oh, okay. as you go. Oh, okay. That's a... It's a it's a sensation that throws me off because I feel like I'm doing something wrong. No, that's absolutely normal. That, that's what happens. It's just something you have to deal with. Like the tail is going to be flipping around, so just keep it out of the way. That's why. See, I'm running out of wire here. It's good that I made more. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You're out of focus. I got to focus. No, I mean your camera's out of focus. I can't see the wire. Oh, is it out of focus? Okay, I'm sorry here. Come back. Is that kind of in focus? Yep. Oh, nope. I had it for a second. Yeah, it's okay. Here, let's just do this. Focus on my drill. Manual. There we go. How's that? All right. <gasps> Good times, cat. Good times. Nope. There you go. Nope. God, that got out of hand. I was not, I was looking at my fingers. Dude, get some fucking pliers what? and squish that shit flat. Okay? Flat. We need to emotion, we need to emotionally get rid of that. That's, That's what I'm flat. saying. This is an emotional thing. It's like, fuck you, that's messed up, that's fine. It's in the past, okay? Yeah, I'm getting rid of it. Look, I'm just smashing it. I don't even care. Okay, that's enough. Stop, you're gonna break your wire. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna fuck up real bad. Okay. <laughs> just get your, get your tension and angle. Not successful. This is unsuccessful. I feel need like more, I'm a little... my eyes again. Maybe okay, yeah, just eyes. maybe see what see what's going on there, so you can see. Oh yeah, this is ten kinds of foobard. You're so close to the fucking wire right now. Jesus Christ. I know, but. 
because if you do that, the problem is like now you've you've overstretched that tiny section by the wire, and then back behind it is not the same. What do you? No, when you're that close, and you're like forcing it around like that, what it, the the wire between your fingertips is getting overstretched, and so then when you start trying to go fast, then that's overstretched. See what I'm saying? The, the stuff ah. that was just in your finger in your fingertips. So you're probably sabotaging it as you go, and that's why last time. It just kept on fucking up again and again because you overstretch and then it would go for a fine for a second and overstretch. So if you keep your shit farther away, you're just going to have uniformity there. So at least you're dealing with the same thing every time so you don't have all those. Yes. You know, you're not changing conditions on yourself. That yeah, speed's just fine. You don't need to speed it up if it's working. Yeah, kind of. Oh. No. Nope. Sorry, I talked to you. No, it's, no, it's uh... Maybe we just need to face the facts that I could never build an alien. Is that what? what you this just, is coming This down? is like your fourth try. You I already know. built an alien. You already built an alien. That's how we know that's not true. I know. Here's what needs to happen. The The end of my wire keeps getting caught because there's a little hook on the end oh cut it off yeah okay it's, okay yeah. now yeah. we should be running yeah. clean yeah that's a that's a real problem is that happens it is well, it's I... caught on stuff get your fucking hand farther away dude what the hell are you doing no i look what i'm saying is that stretches the wire it's, that's what's causing the issues of the, the last time. Is it my... My hands are too close? Yeah, because you're pushing real hard, right, to get it around. And so what I'm saying is the part between your fingers and the, wi and the wire overstretches. And then you try to let go a little bit. And then right. that part that you just had were holding is overstretched. You know, that's why holding farther back and getting used to it, I promise you. This is... I'm going to get that fucking habit out of your head at the beginning. I need to get the, rid of that because just keep going till your decor is gone on this one. You have another decor. Yeah, but it's shorter. It doesn't I don't I don't care. Listen, just be coachable. <laughs> be coachable for one second here. We're going to just just try to get up to speed and try to focus on like be how it coachable. feels going through your hands. Okay, okay. I'll be coachable. Here we go. Is that even alien inning? Yep, faster. It's okay, keep going. So a little bit more pressure on your hand or whatever? You think so? Well yeah, I, I really do think so. There we go. Just keep that feeling in your fingers, dude. You got it right here. Oh, yeah. A little bit more pressure on your fucking fingers, dude. There you go. Oh. Don't worry about it. It's all, it's all, in, yeah. I think I realize what's going on now. Oh, that's the end of my wire. Shit. Yeah, I think I think what's going on is that you're scared to Need push to too hard. Look at this. Ah, my fuck up. Yeah, I'm scared to what? You're scared to push too hard with your fingers. I think you're you're worried that you're gonna squeeze the decor too hard or something. Yes, because I am worried about that. I am yeah, worried about that. Th that that's not gonna be the issue. It's like because you're going too loose. What that means is if you're too light on your fingers. There's not enough stretch, so it's it, it's not going to stretch around. It's not going to become big enough. You should feel a tension between your fingers and the drill. That's what it is. It's like, yeah, okay. okay. Imagine there's a fucking weight on the table connected by a string, right? And you're uh -huh. pulling it. And it uh -huh. takes a certain amount of force to pull it, right? Yeah. So that's what that's so that's a. That's the tension that I'm talking about. The force you'll be pulling back. And wanna... then don't worry about how hard you're squeezing it because 
as you squeeze harder with your fingers, the force increases, right? Yes. It's like that weight weight gets heavier. So that's what you're trying to figure out is what weight that has to be in order for you to hold it in place. Because you should feel a tension between your wire and you keep that tension the same the whole time. I'm just going to wrap the rest of this cruddy decor on here just to experiment to see what it feels like. My hand's yeah. going to be too close, and Kent's going to get mad. It's oh, fine. Whatever. Do, what, do whatever, man. It's good for I me. Just, I need to see this. I was giving you my opinion. You do what you want. It's fine. Well, I, li I appreciate your opinion, Kent. That's why I like you here. <laughs> Oh, bro, I got this. That's all we needed. We needed you to do it your own way just to prove me wrong. And this year, you're, you know, passive aggressively. No, no. Would he, get it. it it's first just, try. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is all part of my plan, Nick. <laughs> no. It, 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 <laughs> here's what happened is I just um, it's like it's going to be different for everybody, though, you know, everybody's going to do it a little bit different. And so what I'm trying right. to do is take what I'm learning and what I've heard from you and from Nick and like everybody. And in fact, Nick's in the chat today. I appreciate you being here, bro. We'll get you back on the stream right after my vacation. Okay. I want Nick to come back on for sure. Yeah, um, dude. And, 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 and many other builders. I want to get like a list going of builders that we need to get on this stream. You know, you should start a Google doc with a nomination form. Oh, nomination form. I love that idea. It was just so fun having you and Nick on. Like, I would love to get to talk to other builders and just any, like, little tips and tricks and things, like, you can add it to how you do it. I think for me and aliens, I think I have to not do it the way that you told me to do it. <laughs> All right. Fine. I think I have to do Dude, I don't. I don't care. If you can figure it out and get it to work, that's all I care about. You know? I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to stretch out another decor. I'm going to put more wire on here. We're going to do another alien. And I'm feeling more confident because that last little section. Here, look. Can you see it? It came out, like, perfect. Can I focus on it? Yeah, that last section is perfect alien. This right here, just under my finger. I mean... Technically, it's the same length as the perfect alien in front of it, but whatever. Right, I know, but this one, <laughs> this one is gappy. This oh, is full that's of true. Gaps. It is gappy. That's full of gaps. This is much less gappy. All right, man. And it worked better if I held the wire down. One one inch away. Yeah, down. you can hold it. Yeah, dude, up down angle doesn't matter where you hold it. Yeah, it worked. I felt down. down, like straight down. Oh, you know why? I better. think. Why is that? Because instead of trying to pull the right amount of tension, you can use your hand as a weight almost to modulate. So it's like more natural. Oh. Because you, you can just bob your hand there instead of trying to completely pull control it. it. You can just yeah. let the weight. Ah. And then you're not even sense. worried. Then all you're worried about is you can just, you know, it's real easy that way because you're using the weight of your hand is definitely enough for that. Yes. That's Man, cool. that felt good. All right, I'm going to do Fucking, some more. Uh, yeah, gonna, re we're repeat gonna, it. Get, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I think I saw a few Super Chats come in. Were there any Super Chats that came in? Uh, there was some back here in the chat that I cannot find. Uh, Neferon had the pinned quote of the day. That's fine. Congratulations, Neferon. Uh, Alex had a Super Chat. Said, can't stick around, but say it with me. Nichrome, not Nichrome. <laughs> Thanks for everything you do. Thank you, Alex. I very much appreciate that. I still... You said it right that time. you got to be Nichrome? careful. You're going to start saying it right. No. I, that can't happen. Yeah, that's Nichrome. your thing. Nichrome. Nichrome. There you Nichrome. go. Nichrome. That's how you there say we it. go. Nichrome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. There, so yeah, you're sure saying it wrong again. Saying, saying it wrong. That's perfect angle. Uh, thank you, Dane B. I appreciate all that. Flying Custard says, uh, try stretch to just... 
use two fingers and thumb. Try stretch to just a blunk, 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 and use two fingers and a thumb. I think I, I think I get what you're saying right there, Flying Custard. What do you have to say, Moo Eh? Moo Eh? Sorry, I lost your super chat. Uh, need some help with the building coil making rig. Got wire, fishing swivels, etc. I'm just not, just no idea about what size to make it. The, it's only limited by your imagination, Mue. Dep I guess it depends on how big, like how long of coils you want to make, right? Just start with 26 gauge fuse Clapton's for sure. Easy. Yeah, and use wrap it with 36, 38, 40. Either one doesn't matter. That's what I would start with. If you never made coils before, make a 26 gauge fuse Clapton. Just throw it through your swivel, get some tension, and you zip them out. It's pretty fast. Tom L. Uh, home from the farm just in time, Tom L., so we can do some building. I don't know if anybody else is uh, building with us today, but I hope you are. I hope you are. All right. Can't. Let's get this second. Uh... Yeah. You just do it whatever way you want, I'm sure. I'm going to do as it. Long as, as long as you do it a way that's different from what I told you, I think it'll work. No, it's not that it's different. It's just that it's different. It's completely different. <laughs> it's just the angle. That's all. It's just the up down. Yeah, you know that might be that might be the key for you. That's all you needed. All right. Well, obviously, I'm going to keep this wire because you know. Wait, what did I have here? Twenty twenty six gauge. Is that the yep. core wire? 26 gauge core wire? Okay. That's what we've been doing. Okay. Okay. There were some disagreeing opinions on the sizes we used for the decor. But it worked really well for me, so. Did you vape the coils you made last week, or are they just show pieces for you? I have every coil I've ever made on this show right here in a pile. Do you? Sick. Oh, that's cool. Makes me feel all sentimental. Dude, those fucking Goddardton things vape so good. Yeah, let's talk about the Goddardtons. I put it in the title because I want to know about the Goddardtons. Oh, really? Well, yeah. put, it, put the picture up. I texted it to you. Did you text me a picture of them? Oh, yeah, you did. You texted me the good picture of them. All right, hang on. Give me a sec. Let's look at these Goddardtons. Oh yeah, let's talk shop, man. Uh, uh, I don't know why I can't uh, here. I have to save it. Oh my gosh. Man, save it's like it. it's like a real disability having to wear glasses Best and talk. take them really off and is. put them on. It only ever frustrates me on this stream. Because there's so many changes between close up and far away. Constant, constant, constant. Yeah. Right, let's look at these uh, Goddardtons. That Kent made here. You know, walk us through these monsters. Can you put the uh, the single shot of the silver wire up? I mean, no. Oh, uh, okay. You can do that though. I can That's do fine. that. Yeah. So they're just stagger tins because I've been I've been stuck on stagger tins for months now. That's all I vape is forty two gauge stagger tins with like ten plies of point three, and I use usually twenty nine gauge for the frames. And with coils in the past, I found that if I put those spiral frames on there. What those frames are is uh, four strands of 34 gauge twisted and then sanded and polished down. Like when you twist four strands of uh, 34, mm -hmm. it makes it point, point 0.4 millimeters to start. So I sanded it down to point 0.3 and then I mirror polished it ended up point 0.29. So uh, that's just to get it smaller than the point 0.3 ribbon in the middle a little bit so that you can get a full stagger and get to depth on all of those fuses that go through the stagger. Yeah. So it holds it nice and tight. And I think, I think it actually increased, improved the flavor a little bit. I mean, there's not much you can really do like the I have a, yeah, I have, I have the regular Whoa. stagger tents. Those are the, yeah, it's just two different wires. One's torched. One's not. It looks uh, computer generated, Kent. It looks computer generated. So what's? Yeah. Maybe I don't understand good. Staggertons. It's ribbon wire with staggered staggered fuse Clapton over it. And then right. You frame so what? You, it. The way you make it is you get 
well, like, this one's a 10 ply, so I got 10, I got five pieces of ribbon. Mm -hmm. You fold them in half, so that makes it 10, right? And you have a little loop from where you fold it. You put that in the swivel, and then you get the other end together in the drill chuck, and then you you use two wires at the same time and fuse it around. So you do like a fuse oh. clapton on these ribbons with two wires, and then you remove one of the wires. And that leaves a space for another wire. And then you put two frames on the outside and, and fuse in and fill in the gaps. And it it's like tying those two frames around on the sides. And it lays flat because it fills in the gaps that you made when you first yeah. took that other wire out. So that's how Staggerton works. That's kind of how long does it take you now to do a set of Staggertons? About twenty minutes, probably. That's awesome. Someday I'll be there, Kent. You know, someday yeah. I'm gonna hit you up on Marco Polo and be like, "Ah, oh, it's whatever, bro. I was just chilling. I just uh, knocked out a pair of Staggertons. Like fifteen minutes. It's whatever." You had to one up me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Even it's in like, my fantasy, I, I want up to His fantasy is like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do Please. one in 15. <laughs> you. <laughs> it's not a competition, Nick. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it is. It's, it's not. It kind of is, a little bit, right? Totally. Okay, so those are snug. That's some snug action right there. Good. Yep. There's we're the ready. wires. Oh, we're not ready. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. No, don't keep your mouth shut. Not yet. I need to stretch. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. No, keep your mouth shut yet. I need to stretch this. I didn't stretch my decor yet. And that's the problem. You want to put on your goggles while you stretch it? Just kidding. I did. Do whatever you want. The last time I did put on my goggles. Where the fuck are my tweezers? Why do you need tweezers? Oh, here they are. Because I would like to take my tweezers to wrap this around the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, m -trick does that. I try. I stole it from him. Oh, shit. It's fine. You'll find it, I'm sure. Oh, God. Just get your magnifying glasses on and get on all fours. <laughs> okay, I found it. Might as well do 30 push-ups while you're down there. Just kidding. <laughs> I did 15 already today. Awesome. I mean, I'll do more. Oh my god, I'm going to be so happy if I can get this. Okay. 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 Shit. Back up just a little bit. Okay. <sighs> what do you got? A LaCroix there, Ken? LaCroix, coconut water, and a protein drink. Well, I was supposed to eat a thousand calories, but I didn't have time. It's a lot of food, so. Okay, I'm gonna stretch this now. <laughs> Give me a sec. I don't, it's not that much decor. It's only like, it's a little bit. I should still yeah, be able to get a single though. If I really nail this, I can still get a single coil out of this. Hang yeah. And I just need to stretch it real quick. You can talk amongst yeah, yourselves. Yeah, okay. All right, you guys, I have a theory. I don't think Nick can hear me right now. So I think this is really just, I think he's been able to do this the whole time. I think he's been practicing aliens in a specific way. And <laughs> and he just wanted to like make me look bad. So I gave him all these tips and stuff and he already knows how to do it. And he kept messing up on purpose. And then now he's just gonna do it perfectly his own way. So he looks like a genius, fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm a bad teacher, okay? I just admit it, how about that? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> I don't even care if that's all true, you know, all I want, him, I just wanted to have some good aliens, you know, so. Ooh, he's really stretching okay. that shit. 
Look, I can't stretch it that far. Yeah, it's tiny. It's really I not that much wire. Yeah, I wouldn't. You don't have to stretch it. You don't have to stretch it far. You need to stretch it the right amount. No, I know, I know. I, I, I was hoping I stretched it the right amount. I'm just saying I don't, my decor was short to begin with, so stretching it is... I have yeah, to that's, really be on that's this. How you pra- that's it. how you practiced with stretching? a short decor. Yeah, short you got decor. It, you already got it perfect. You've been practicing all week, and you're just trying to make me look bad. <laughs> no! <laughs> I promise! <laughs> No, that's not it. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, can't all those tips. Oh, thanks a lot. Couldn't get it. Oh, don't know what's wrong. Oh, oh, did it? No, I promise. I am actually just bad at this. Uh, Addy Tooney <laughs> says, "Hi Nick, hi Kent. An option is switching the drill to your left side. There's more dexter- dexterity in your dominant hand. Enjoy your break, XO. Thank you so much, Addy Tooney. I'm enjoy that break. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. I've been thinking about the same thing. Like when I talk about reevaluating this, I sometimes think about. Maybe I need to be hitting the drill with my left hand and guiding the wire with my right. We can try it. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Can I put these? Can I put the magnifying glasses on? Do whatever you want. Yeah, that's what you did last time. I would. You you did it well last time. So right. I would just repeat the exact same scenario, which you had the glasses on. <laughs> you were down below. You were real close, you know. So I would just do it. It worked. In your last bit, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh shit. Why'd you stop? I'm at the end of my decor. Okay, I think you got enough for a single there, at least a four rep. You think so? Yeah, maybe even five, because it's just a two core. Yeah. Holy there you go. crap, Kit! Okay, so we figured out just now. It's just that one that little thing. Holding your hand down instead down of back is really the way to go. That it was you just one we- simple little thing. Yeah, that's all you needed. You know what's weird is that I was when I made it last week, I was holding it down too. You were I holding it down, and you didn't even yeah. think to tell me. You're like maybe Nick would benefit from this as well. Because all I'm thinking like, is left nope. to right angle, you know? Because that's the only yeah. one that matters. Right. So I don't even notice where my shit is, but that makes so much more sense holding it down like it's that. It's really yeah. easy to hold it down. And holding it down, the spinning, the, like the rotating decor wire doesn't freak me out because I can feel it spinning below my thumbs. And right. it's just 
spinning. Like it's not spinning against my leg or like against the desk or something. If it's just hanging straight down, it doesn't trip me out. Yeah. Cool. Success. That I you think I can get four wraps out of that? Oh, easy now. You got a five wrap there. For, for a Hadley. It's going in a Hadley. So you just need four wraps? No, I mean, I could put five wraps in this, I think. What do you got in there right now, Alien? Nothing. I, I oh. pulled it out. This has been... This squonk and atomizer have been sitting here for three weeks. Just waiting mm. for me to build a successful alien to put in oh. it. Oh. <laughs> Every week, that's been my yeah. goal to get this squonker going again. Okay, so it's, you, you just need a single coil. Well, you got it right there. I just there. need a single coil. Hmm. So how do I, uh, on the end, what do I need to do to finish this? It's done. Or just cut that's that it. off. Just cut it, like, right here? Yeah, because, I mean, you can just keep trying to, to alien it if you want. Might as well, I guess. It's only but a is little it, bit. Yeah, as it gets that short, I usually stop because I can't, I can't maintain like the once distance. It gets, it's it just gets in, it gets exponentially more difficult as your wire gets shorter. That's yeah. why I was trying to I was trying to ask to keep your hands a little bit farther away. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So you're yeah, telling me like, I can cut this right in front of this wire? What? No, I'm saying cut off the decor part. I wasn't saying snip it yet because you haven't released your drill from the tension. It wouldn't be a problem. It just might recoil in. And I don't know, move in a way that you didn't want it to. What? I mean, I would unclamp your drill first from the table. That's what I'm saying. To release the tension. There you go. Now you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying, like, if you were on a tightrope and you finished tightrope walking and then you just, like, <laughs> took bolt cutters and cut the wire, it would probably cause some problems, you know? What it's could under go tension. Wrong? What could go wrong? Really nothing, probably. Is... What could go wrong? Yeah, I don't know. Oops. I don't know. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a fucking process for everything. And then when, when other people start doing stuff, like, especially in my kitchen. It weirds you out. <laughs> fucking girlfriend. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like micromanaging everything. And I've, I've been trying to, like, not do that because that's weird. Yeah. Like what? Do you, why did you? Why did you? Why did you push the button on the coffee maker <laughs> before you put the water in? It's like doesn't matter. It doesn't like, there's matter. Really, it's literally it's just the process that I do. So it's I'm like okay, never mind. I have I have an issue. I shouldn't be <laughs> stressing people out in my kitchen. <laughs> it's like I'm just trying to get I'm a drink. So, I was just trying. To make I was just thirsty. <laughs> I don't know if there's a four wrap in here. How long? Do you have your ruler? Yeah, uh, yeah. How long is it? I'll let you know. Because you're putting a 2.5 millimeter, right? For the Hadley? Yeah, two and a half millimeter. Yeah, how many inches? One and a half. One and a half inches? One and a half inches. Oh, wow, that's a lot shorter than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking small. You might get a Let's three try. wrap. Let's try. Let's try. Four, 2.5. Why didn't I do more decor? Why didn't I, have a I do more decor? I made a decor calculator. Or I mean a, a wrap calculator. Let me go see if that's what that's going to do. I mean, even if it doesn't work out, I'm I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vape a three wrap in here. I don't even care. I'll vape a three wrap. You know, manipulated metals. You'll vape a three wrap. I've seen you vape a three wrap. I'm <laughs> just kidding. One and a half inches of alien. That's all I have to. I'm afraid it's only going to be a three rep. Let's see. You have a calculator? You calculated it? Yeah, I made an Excel spreadsheet. But I gave myself a lot of lead length, so you might. Maybe there's a four rep with baby leads that might, might make it. Nah. This is definitely going to be. Well, when, once you take it off the jig, you have all that lead towards your plier end. Maybe yeah. you could wrap around. Yeah. I have naked leads or naked cores. Oh, you left it long enough on the I end. I left naked cores on the bottom so I could put it into the 
uh, into the smart. pliers and start wrapping it from where the actual the actual alien is. Oh, really? Really, Ken? Really? Bro. All right. Kent, uh, if you don't want to be on my build stream, just say, like, I don't want to be on your build stream anymore. You don't have to just come on and then ditch out halfway through. It's fine. It's fine, Kent. <laughs> I'm still going to try to get a three wrap or a four wrap out of this. See what we can do. Nope, this is going to be a three wrap. Man, the batteries. Oh, nope. I can't even get a three wrap out of it. Can't. I can't even get a three wrap out of it. Even once you take it off the jig? Yeah. I can get a solid two wrap. Yeah, solid gotta, two wrap. It said three wrap on my calculator is 1.75 inches, so. Yeah. If I had 1.75 inches, I probably could have got three wraps. Yeah. That and I didn't uh, do. Well, now that you got it down, it's going to be fast to just make another one. I know. I didn't see. The thing is, I also afterwards didn't bother to straighten my cores out, so I started wrapping it, and it just went brunt, like right over the right over the wrap. It just twisted. Oh yeah, you you messed it up. I didn't fix my cores in the middle either. All right, Hadley. Yeah, you can on. you can fix them as you wrap it. All right, so we need. Yeah, that worked. So we we'll just do it again. Yep, it's worked. Twenty nine gauge. Twenty nine gauge core. It's, it wastes a lot of twenty nine gauge wire, though. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, you could technically save your decors. Yeah, I mean. And just reuse them again and again. That's one thing where you can conserve wires. You can save your your decor wire and use it again. You usually get quite a few uses out of it. Do you? Yeah, eventually it like gets bent or gets like, and it becomes rough from so many Claptons on it. But... Well, I end up just tossing it every time. Keep, keep going, dude, you have an unlimited supply of wire, my friend, in a fortunate <laughs> situation. You could literally throw out all your spools tonight as a sacrifice to the build gods, and uh, you'd have more. Does that help? I sometimes throw away three spools of 36 at a time before I wrap up the last part of a build. Really? The build gods? No, really... no. They like blood sacrifice more. So. Oh, shit. All right. Well, <laughs> this weekend will get interesting, I think. Uh, you haven't cut yourself yet building, so you're still a virgin. I have not cut myself building, but I have cut myself plenty of times with wire throughout my life. Like, I'm not... Oh, poke, poked yourself? Yeah, poked myself with wire. I used to build round wire builds, bro. It's true. Stepping you know, on wires. Stepping on wires? Fuck yeah. In fact, Hot this glue burn. just got pierced right now. As we were saying that, I got pierced. All right, dude, fine. You've made your blood sacrifices. It's good. <laughs> Same. Like you're you're a real builder. I'm sorry. I wasn't I wasn't trying to like Just discount your buildingness. My buildingness. Yeah. The true buildingness. <sighs> you having fun, Kent? You want to do some building? You want to build something and just impress us all while I struggle with an alien? Uh, what wire do I have sitting in front of me? Let me see. What can I make? Probably 34 gauge cooler than I could make. Mm. I just have 34 and 42 here. There's nothing I can really do. What the hell? There we go. 20, what is it? 37 gauge? Yeah, that's what you've been using. 
I sh I'm not cut out for this, Kent. You'll get it, man. You'll be throwing down specs on your coils soon. You'll be like, yeah, it's a three-core <laughs> Alien, 37-gauge wrap, 27-gauge totally. cores, three-millimeter inner diameter. It's whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, something weird happened to me, Kent, when I was doing my first decors before the stream is mm, what happened? I was doing a single, you know, putting the wire on the single Clapton and I got to like the middle and my spool just stopped turning and the core wire was just spinning. Yeah. So the, your tape came off? Yeah. Like, I, Is that what happened? Yeah, I did, your tape I couldn't disconnected. diagnose it. Oh, really? Is that all? Just the tape disconnected? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was really yeah. confused for a second. I was really confused. Does that monitor if it's bouncing like that? I should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself and you get to talk to everybody for a second. <sighs> I'm gonna go into the chat then because I got nothing right now. So I need to at least have some sort of content there, you know, to look at. Give me a second. This happens sometimes. I used uh, my blood supply for my workout. Cool. Yeah, I need to mute this though. There we go. Let's see. I think we've probably gotten some 1.75 three core Claptons. These people are taking snippets of our conversation. Like, how big is it? Get your ruler out. It's only one and a half inches. It's not long enough. And then I said, you're a virgin. <laughs> that was pretty fucking funny. Oh, uh, what's up, Derek? What phone do I have now? I don't have a couple. I have the Galaxy 20S or whatever. I didn't really care for it. And then this is the the 10 something. I don't fucking even know anymore. Dang. Features RDA is getting cloned left and right. The TM24 Pro didn't even get cloned properly. It was like, it was just on fast tech. I think it cost $7 or something ridiculous. Maybe it was 11, I can't remember. Yo, can't, what are those three setups you're running? Oh, that's a good idea. I can tell you guys what I'm vaping on. So these are the, what Nick has called the Goddardtons, which we showed a picture of earlier. They're just, 42 gauge wrap stagger tins with those god frames it's like polished twisted frames for the frames and they're really really tasty and uh it's that baked apple from uh cotton and cable in the uk it's really tasty and then i got just regular stagger tins with 29 gauge these are all n80 also very good I think these are with 0.2 and 32 gauge yeah and then I busted out because I used to be into the mothership aliens with the micro clapton for the alien wrap and I cleaned one up and busted it out and it's it's really nice it's different it's a uh, much smoother Much more restricted, but requires higher wattage. Okay, can I, Oh, you're done. Is that boring? Okay. No, no. Here's the thing. I forgot to back up the drill, so I can't get the decor off. What? Do I get the decor off. Is it loose on there at all? No. I mean, a little bit. Yeah, that's not why you can't get it off. You just need to reclip the the part where you're trying to pull it off from. Use the, okay, on those clippers that I sent you, 
I sent you clippers, right? Yeah. Nick? Yeah. Use the clippers. Um, fuck. All right. Say this is your decor, and that's the end, right? Okay. Use your clippers this way with a flat end cutting towards your Clapton. What? Fuck. Pretend my finger is your decor. Pretend my finger is your wire that you're holding in your right hand. Yes. The end of it, the tip mm -hmm. of it, right? Mm -hmm. So to get your clippers, mm -hmm. hold them so the flat end is going to meet. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the flat end is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, just clip the it that flat way. End. Yep, clip it that way and it's going to slip right off afterwards. There you go. No? It's not. Where is it catching on the end? I can't There's... see. Yeah. Clip another little bit off, tiny bit. We'll see if you can push the decoy back get the, up. Yeah, I better get the magnifying goggles yeah. out, kid. Yeah, you, you know, I uh, want to see what's going on up here. Yeah. Better see. Oh, no, uh, I have no idea. Is it coming off at all? Come on, man. Is the end coming off and then it's catching? No. It's loose. All right, clip it at the other end the same way I just showed you with the flat end towards your Clapton. On this side? Yeah. And then just... Try to slide it off that way? won't come off we'll just are you sure off. you're using the right flat end look this is what i'm talking about when i'm talking about the flat end all right you can't see the screen without your glasses never mind no i can't because the reason i'm saying that is because if you clip it with the plier with the clippers in the wrong direction it's going to crimp it and make it a shape right. right which you can't get around the other side clips it flat completely and you can slip right off yeah that's why i want to make sure you're you got the right flat portion of the I do. Hang on. Okay, I got it, Kent. I got it. I got it. Okay. Crisis averted. I got it. Good. It Good. was just the janky first wraps on there were like really, 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 really tight. Really, 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 really tight. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're going flat in first, you could actually just clip those off if you wanted to next time. It would slip right off, generally speaking. What do we do? 26 gauge cores? Yep. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ugh. Dude, I'm going to do this. We're going to get these aliens today, bro. Thanks for watching me do this, Kent. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ugh. Easy now. Yeah, my physical therapist took a two-week vacation, so he he decided to really hurt me today. Yeah. Ah. Good. I think he Smart really, man. He, he missed torturing me, so. Smart man. I like that you're working on muscles that I don't even know exists. That's my favorite part about your workout routine. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, it doesn't feel good all the time though, you know. Oh, you know, I forgot I have this microscope. I could probably show you different stuff with this. What? Can you hook that up to your, to your computer? No, but I have a screen on it. Oh. It doesn't have like an HDMI out or something? Uh, I think it actually does. Because if we could get microscopic on this build stream, that would be something. Microscopic. Mm. No HDMI. That's a bummer.
Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's not very clean under the microscope. What, your Clapton's? Oh, actually, it's fine. Never mind. Actually, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Ooh, that Stagger Fuse, though. Yeah, man, that Stagger Fuse Clapton just brings back memories. I love it. It's, like, so nostalgic. Whoops, motherfucking titty sucking. All right. Wait, what happened? Uh, I just, uh, it's just my bad. I just don't pay attention, and like, when I'm trying to lock the drill, I end up unlocking it. You know. Yeah, that's uh, a, a that doesn't thing. go away, unfortunately. It doesn't? That, that no. sticks with you forever? Dude, <laughs> do you know how many times when I've been making like a fucking... I'm doing a staggered something, and I'll, you mess up a wrap, and you have to reverse the drill. Yeah. And then you have to get your shit reset up, and you get I get the angle like perfect again, and I'm like, okay. And I hit hit the fucking go button, and it's still in reverse, and it pulls it out farther. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad to know that that still happens. Yeah. I'm never gonna not be able to. Alright, let's stretch some decor. Woo! I am getting a little bit faster at it. Right? Yeah. Oh, you will for sure, yeah. It's not like it's just going to be... It won't even be hard forever. You know? It's just a lot... It's a lot to consciously try to keep track of. Yeah. So, once you get some of this on autopilot, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. I get dangerous the with autopilot. Well, the more you do it, the more your body takes care of everything for you. You don't have to trip. You don't have to think about it. And then all you do is say, you know, you just do your mantra while you're alienating. Just relax. Everything's fine. Just relax. Everything's fine. You got this. Your body knows how to do it. Everything's fine. Oh God damn it! Just being real meticulous about this. Yeah, uh, and just re repeat, repeat your successes, man. So, just whatever process you used last time, I would just yes. try your best to do it again. That's what I'm gonna do again. I'm gonna I have to take off my headphones so I can stretch this. So you have to entertain everybody again. I was doing a good job entertaining everybody until. Were they? Was he doing a good job entertaining you guys? Yeah, I was. I was. Well, I thought maybe you interrupted me, so maybe I was being boring, you know, about my vapes. Oh, oh, I just, no, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. That was just me not reading the room and just going, okay, I'm done, oh. Kent. I didn't realize you were in the middle of a sentence. I'm sorry. That's fine. You can keep uh, talking about your vapes, you know. I've really lost hey. all confidence now. There's nothing else to say. <laughs> sorry, I have to tell you. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I tried to teach you a way. It didn't work. You figured out your own way. I mean, I'm just dead weight at this point. Was... No. <laughs> And it's not a small amount of weight that I'm you know, saying. Shut Getting up. up there. I'm gonna stretch this wire. Yeah, but it's interesting that I was like, because I was stuck on these mothership aliens, or mothership fralians, and uh, and it's such a different vape from the Staggerton. Staggerton is more violent in your face. You know, it's cr super crackly. And then this, these mothership fralians are just so smooth. It's, it's interesting. So yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a bit of a connoisseur. I think this is stretched really well. Just saying. Mm. I've never got to vape a mothership alien or a mothership. What are those things called? Well, you generally they aren't very good. 
Like you have to really? use a small enough wire that yeah, because it it gets it's not harder, but I think people are intimidated by forty eight gauge because um, it's so small. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And you really need like a thirty eight gauge core with a forty eight gauge wrap before it starts performing really well. Like you could do a thirty six forty six, but it's pretty big. That's like a thirty two gauge wire. Oh wow. E equivalent, because once you wrap it around, you got to add. You know, you're adding something on top and bottom of this wire. You're increasing the diameter by two of those wrap wires. So with a 38 core and a 48 wrap, it's equivalent to a 34 gauge wire. And if you made a 34 gauge alien, it would it would, it would vape pretty good. It would vape okay. It would be fine. A 32 gauge wrap for your alien, it starts getting too far away. Your Like your wires that are actually heating up are too far away from the wick and it starts drying out at higher oh. wattages. So you want that to be close enough. But the, the cool thing about the the mothership is that those little microclaptons hold on to liquid so fucking well that they'll feed it. It's like having an extra wick wrapped around your Just coils. Just feeds so, it, yeah. I so remember, it's, it's, yeah, it's inefficient, yeah. but but it's good. Yeah. That was one of the first, like, things I noticed about, Fan, like fancy wire fuse claptons and aliens in general is that they would just wick better they, they, they pull juice and they hold juice incredibly like that was the first thing going between like round wire and claptons remember back in the day when everyone was like what's the difference why are claptons any better i just use round wire That's yeah well single reasons, single they wire hold. claptons kind of suck you know yeah single Before, wire claptons kind of suck without the fuse the, because when you fuse it that changes the properties completely because now you have two wires in the middle and you have something on the top of them combining and making them like a tube. And so there's a channel, if you think about it, between those two where two circles meet, there's a gap in the top and there's, those just fill with liquid in there. Yeah. And it keeps feeding itself as you heat it up because it evaporates, it squirts out through this, through the gaps. Squirts. And then, it's, and then capillary action sucks more liquid in there. So it's a continual process and aliens has an even more dramatic effect because it's like going along. I don't know. It's interesting. I made a video on it the web yeah. like years and years ago. All right. But there's a limit. You can't go too big on that rep wire. All right, Kent. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. the first, the first Clapton. Don't listen to what I'm saying. I'm just going to talk. The first Clapton was made by Derek Small. Like back in 2014, I think maybe 2013 even. But it was a back then there was nothing smaller than 32 on the market really. So it was a 32 gauge wrap over a 28 gauge core. It was just the worst vape in the world. But it looked for the time it looked so cool. It looked so different. That's what started it. That was a big. That was a big boost in innovation. Ah! Ah! What? I was so confident, bro. I was so confident. And then I started letting the speed get out of hand. Use your patience, muscles. Fucking motherfucking titty sucking, god damn it. 
I'm trying not to talk because I feel it like it's so good. good. It was so good. Did you see how good it was? Yep. So you got a much longer section before fucking up there. I bet that's more than a half, one and a half inches. Uh, for some reason, I don't think so. Let's see. Where my damn ruler go? Damn it! <laughs> that's way longer than last time. I guess it does sound kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's way longer than last time. Uh, no, it's the exact same. It's one and a half inches. That's the ma That's my maximum. That's all I can get. No, it, it's gonna go up. It goes up over time. How much yeah. decor you got? Shit tons. We're good, homie. Yeah. I don't know about shit tons, but we'll just see. Some, we'll see. You know, you're, you're a guy who likes a long seatbelt, so just think about I how do, that long seatbelt is just seat dangling. Belt, yeah, yeah. Just blowing in the wind out the car window. You're just like so safe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Extra safe. <laughs> Extra safe. <laughs> Just absorb that sensation, you know, into your heart as you go here. Again, again. Okay, I think you should stand up and shake your arms around and jump a little bit just to get that out of your system because, you know. Oh, now things are falling. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's just because you didn't jump properly doesn't mean you can't make this alien. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. All right. Okay, okay. Nope. Motherfucker. So are you like freaking out? What's going on in your head here when that happens? What? Anything? Is anything happening in your head when that's going on? When that when that fucks up? Yeah. Are you thinking? Lots. Like bef before it fucks up? Like what are you thinking? What's going what's your thought process here? Let's get let's so, root this out. So before it fucks up in my head, I'm thinking, this is going great. That's what I oh. think in my head. I'm like, whoa, this is going great. And then huh. As soon as I say that in my head, I have to do like a mental check of all of the things I need to be keeping aware of. Like, how fast is the drill spinning? How much decor do I have left? How tight is it in my fingers? How's it going on? I like do a little reevaluation, and as soon as I reevaluate, mm. it jumps right off. So maybe it's just like your personality is like trying to pay attention to everything. Maybe it you're, is. You're a bit of a control freak, like I am, aren't you? No, I don't know if I don't know. Is that what this know. building is revealing to the world that I'm a control freak? Apparently, I mean it wasn't a secret. Uh, I'm telling you, basically, you're a control freak. But the, uh, because <laughs> <laughs> I think if if you think about like your tactics throughout your lifetime, like the way that you've learned things, yes, it's probably like you try to get everything totally nailed down and and keep aware you have your like space and that's your whatever thing so it's fine like that's gonna work out good eventually it's just gonna be a little bit harder to learn that way because you have so much you're thinking about because really all you should be focusing on don't worry about the length of your decor because you just checked dude your seatbelt is flying in the wind back <laughs> behind the, like, 20 feet behind the car you got lots of decor. Uh, yeah i know you but know? like I know. You don't need to think I about know. that. It's so, mental. like, only thing is this like this is a mental angle. game, everybody. It's a mental game. The it's weight on your hand and the angle, and that's all you got to worry about. Okay. Well, and the drill speed, but just don't change the drill speed once you're in. I guess I'm. Again! You should, probably, you should probably go a little faster than that. All right. Now I need to check my decor. How much do I have left? How much? You know. You got six feet at least there. No, I don't. It's not that. Yeah, four, four, four feet, fine. Right?
A little faster than that, buddy. Okay, what I'm going to ask you to do is next time you mess up, don't stop and say, oh my God, I messed up. Just keep going. <laughs> keep going okay. like it didn't happen. Because okay. literally what's happening is you're, you're messing up and then you're getting restarted and yeah, you're back it, in the groove. And then you yeah. mess up and you stop again and you stop again. So make a rule for yourself. If you mess up, you can't stop unless it continually makes a bad pattern. If you can get right back into it, keep going. Then it's no big but deal. If you, yeah, if you get like, you know, a quarter inch of total fuck up, you have to start and restart again. But if you just get one little mess up, because that happens, even people who are production builders who are making like, you know, six foot sticks at a time or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes they fuck up too, but they can't stop. You got to just keep going because you can get back right back into it and you just keep going because later on you can cut those pieces out if you have a long enough section. Because your goal here is to just get as much length as you can successfully at a time, just increasing it each time. Okay. Okay. One of my issues, how do you let the, where do you put the, the, the wire in your fingers? Do you just go right between the pads of your fingers? Do you go through like a knuckle joint or something? What I do is, nope, I just, I hold it right between the two pads of these thumb and forefinger. Okay. Right and there. you don't feel it like squirming around? I do. I let this squirming stuff dangle past these fingers so I can feel that on these fingers, move, like the vibration coming from that on these fingers. And I know that that's coming through, but all the tension, everything is modulated by these two fingers. Some people use, they find it easier with two fingers. I'm going to think I'm going to start letting it go through like my knuckle, like the crook of my first knuckle right here. And then my thumb on top. Do it however you, however you want. Um, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It just is. Uh, it's just. I'm not going to tell. I'm not. Stupid. I'm not going to tell it's you the wrong way to I'm do not, it. No, if that if that works for you, that's fine. I'm not even going to tell you the negative portions that are going through my head about it, because it doesn't matter. If it works for you, it's okay. I don't know if what? it works for me. I've just. I haven't. I've been experimenting around. You know. Oh wait, now okay, you're adding in new variables. Yes. Even though you were having s s pretty significant success previously doing it a certain way, you want to change things. That's fine. I. D <laughs> Okay, I won't change it right now. Oh shit. Fucking times. You're going too slowly, my friend, I think. So imagine, imagine the weight should be getting heavier since you get those fuck ups. You need to be putting more tension on it a little bit. Okay. I'm out of decor again. Yeah, yeah. All those little fuck ups there. Yeah, is that that's from just, pressure? That's, that's just from pressure? reducing your pressure. It gets too loose. You're giving it too much slack. Yeah. 
damn it. We got to the end of the decor again, but there's still only about a quarter inch of good uh, alien here. Yeah, so that's literally, this This time, your only issue was, that's why I asked you to speed it up, because it, yeah. it really it is easier to, you know, adjust, uh, keep to realize how much tension you have when you're yes. going a little bit faster. Because when you're going slow, it's just hard to control. And this is continually, your issue is continually lose having too little slack yeah i i think or too yeah. much slack you're giving it too much slack yeah you're 100 so, percent right so is jordan right here she just keeps yeah, letting you, up on the tension you're letting up on the Fucking tension you're freaking out you feel like you probably feel like you're pulling too hard or something yes. and you're like oh yes. no i can't do it too hard because you haven't overstretched even once you have never in this everything whole thing, so far has been under there's no point that you put too much tension on so i think you're just you're just holding back a little bit too much you're a little bit too too nervous about pulling too hard so what i'm trying to say is like you should have a little bit more weight on your hand you know what i mean like if you're fishing you know if you're fishing. analogy fuck it like fishing. fishing you too much slack on the line you know and the fish is going to get too fast break the line sure yeah what yeah you, doing, man? you want to keep fish it tight just... and i know yeah yep i know that yep yep because you you can pull too hard to make it too tight, but it's uh, I think it's less likely to mess you up. This little portion of good Clapton at the or good alien at the end here was me pulling like what I felt was too much. Right. But it came out yeah. perfect. Right. And all of these and I, were from and you when know, I let a, up. I'm sure I'm sure there's some people in the chat mentioning that oh it's understretched. And technically, if you had stretched it more, you could have held it at that tension that you like, and it would have worked. Oh. But I think, I think it's good to be able to control it. You know, to because once you get the feel of that tension, it yeah. kind of, it just feel you feel like you're doing it. Yes. You know, because right now it's kind of like you're watching it happen, and you're not really sure why it's working and why it's not working. Yes. Probably. And so, like, There's... once you get once you get the feel of the tension, you feel like you're actually doing an alien. Yeah. Um, yes, there's a bunch of times where I've been doing not necessarily today, but like in the past where I've been alien and, and I see it going on and I think in my head, why is this working? How is this working? How is this working? And what am I doing so that this is working right now? Right. Yeah. You shouldn't think that yeah. <laughs> you should just literally. <laughs> I don't think I don't I try not to think of that shit. I just think, oh my god, this is magical. I can't believe it's working. That's it. Yeah. Because your body'll just... figure it out, I promise. Just trust your body, man. It's like when you throw an infant into a pool and they just float to the top and everything's fine. They'll float on their back and swim. Yeah. When you throw a nine year old in there who's never been in the water, they'll drown themselves. It's like what <coughs> you're doing here. Yeah, yeah. It's a dark analogy. Dark analogy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm just like I would, I would. I feel like I have a disorder now. Like I have to now <laughs> make analogies for everything. So like, I don't know, man. It's You're like deep into my. It's like throwing children. It's like drowning children. It, <laughs> well, you're not drowning a baby. You're just teaching it to swim. This is practically nasty coils. This is practically a hoof build. This is practically <laughs> a hoof. <laughs> If you wrap that, it would not look great. But it would not look great or glow well either. Well, you space it; it's fine. Let's just hook this up. Yeah. Yeah, that's overstretched. See, but see how much pressure you had on that shit. Yeah, too much. Way too. Well, much. Way more. Way, way more, more than previous. So I think that's just increase your tension, man. Man, I wish you had made more decors before the stream. I wish I had too. I didn't even think about it. I made two, and I'm like, Dude, two's enough. Two's enough decors. I'll be able to get this in two. Yeah. Well, imagine, because imagine if you had like 10 decors made, and you could just keep going, trying again, trying again, trying again. Yeah, I know. You get I it. But I can't today. I don't have any oh, more I know. Decors I'm just today. saying, I, I mean, who what? wants to make 10 decors, dude? It's a lot of work. I don't do that. It's not fun either. No, yeah. it's not fun. It takes skill, and it's like a little bit fun and exciting to get the aliens on here. 
But doing right. decor is just like taking out the trash. It's like stupid. <laughs> It's like drowning a baby. It's just so dumb. You're like, dude, so production dumb. production builders do decors so fast. The shit's going like ten thousand RPMs or more sometimes. It's yeah. like <laughs> they're holding the wire because it's shaking around. They'll do a fucking bunch of decors in a short amount of time. It's crazy what people do. I don't. I don't think I have what it takes to do production building. No, no. Which direction? I mean, I don't either. Obviously, I don't have the chops. Or the skills. Well, even if you have the skill, it just takes so much time. Build coils for eight hours a day, the same coil again and again and again. That's crazy. It's a special kind of person, man. Whoa! Whoa shit. Well, if that's what you want to do, then that's what you should do. What do I do, Ken? That's, what do we do? What, I mean. what, what do, do I do? What do you do? What do we do? I don't know. How much time do we have left on this stream? Oh, yeah, look. It's like a question mark. It's like, who cares? Should I try well, again? I would, yeah, I think with that last bit, you proved to your because what happens, dude, is you're like, I got all this wire, okay, I don't want to fuck it up. And you're like worried the whole time, I'm going so too slow, not enough yeah. tension. Well, you're trying to over control it again and again, right? And then you get to the end, and you're like, well, this part doesn't matter anyway because I don't have enough left. And then you yeah. do it perfectly at the end. Is that See what, what I saying? had the problem too? My wire's not centered in the middle of the chuck. Oh, it is coming out of there at, at a wacky angle. Oh. Kind of is. Yeah, once you get to the middle of the wire, it shouldn't really make a huge difference. Oh, really? Shit. Well, Kent, I want you to build something way more entertaining. Oh, you want me to build something? Well, I'm just thinking, like, I think it would be a fine uh, example of how bad I am at building is if you built something, like, much more complicated in less time than it takes me to do two core aliens. Uh... No pressure, only if you want to. Well, I just never use this setup, you know? so I'm, I'm pretty much limited to aliens. Oh. I guess I could try. Actually, you know, I, sh I should actually try uh, like a ribbon build, like a frame staple or something oh, with ribbon. this setup, because I'm gonna have to show you how to do that at your house, and you don't have the same setup that I use over there. So I'm gonna see if see if I can do it with my normal method of ribbon. Um, with this setup, yeah, because I, I never use this set, setup on my own. Dude, try it. I know. I do need to practice. Apathy, yes. Practice, practice, I'll practice, be right practice, back. practice, 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 practice. How long is a decoy? That's the thing, Breeze Tones. Who really knows? Who really knows? Man, and I was so... It's okay. It's just interesting how my confidence level dropped substantially as soon as I fucked up. As soon as I ran out of decors, I'm like, well, that's it. Oh, fucking hey. Why does your wire keep breaking on me, Kent? So, uh, you're, you're 29. Oh, you can't hear me. Can't. <clears throat> Sometimes when I stretch your 29 gauge, it breaks. How much are you trying to stretch it? Just, just off the spool, like stretch it to straighten it. it. Breaks. It breaks. Yeah. Don't stretch it so much. That's crazy. Okay. I don't know. You break it? He... Jesus what? Christ! What are you fucking? You've really been doing push-ups, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe that could be it. I actually don't know my own strength now. You must be pulling so hard to break it. It happened twice. It happened twice, bro. Where did it break it? The pliers? Yeah. Yeah, your pliers are cutting into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was trying to find a way to blame that on you, but uh, I guess it's really no. my fault. That's fine. That's fine. Damn. Third try. This isn't actually my third try. This is like my umpteenth try. <clears throat> Excuse me. What was that, Dane? Uh, Grim Green, yes, try one more. You got this. Just keep your tension and angle. You are golden. Also, people are saying to make sure your cores are centered in the chuck. Yeah. I noticed I noticed they were not centered 
pretty early on, but I felt like it would be okay. You know, appreciate that, Dane B. Stop adding variables, Nick. That's all I got. Stop adding variables. Stop trying to change the way that you hold your... Yeah. Stop. I mean, yeah. Having it uncentered in the drill is another variable. See, this feels good. Centered. And 37 gauge. Okay, I'm kind of remembering this a little bit, Kat. 37 gauge is next. See, this would be the ultimate, like, best possible way to start my vacation is killed some aliens. Now I'm going to vape them like the whole vacation. It's going to be awesome. Just relax. Everything's fine. Just relax. Kent, just relax. Everything's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm not great at it. Just relax, Kent. Everything's fine. Okay. I'm gonna, mute, I'm gonna mute myself and do this decor. Thanks you guys for hanging out. We're gonna get this, you guys. We're gonna get it. I have faith in Nick. I feel like I can't really talk. Oh, he's making a decor? Okay, I could talk during this. I feel like whenever I talk, when he's making an alien, it messes him up, so. Oops. My drill died in the middle of my uh, core making. Do you have a second battery? Yeah. Oh, you do? Maybe. I think I do. So can I just leave this dangling here? Um, I would Shh. tape your wire to your spool so it doesn't unspool itself. Shit. Oh, you, oh your tape's on your drill? Yeah. Take the tape off your drill. You can always put that back on. Hang on. Hang on. I have an idea. Okay. I have scotch tape somewhere. Within arm's reach? Yes. That's convenient. And I can... Oh, fuck. Now, it fucked up. What the hell? Yeah. It'll lose tension. And it'll flip off around the outside. All right. All right. Let me try to find my other uh, drill battery. Ship. <sighs> oh wow! You can't see that at all on the camera, huh? It's like I'm just playing with my hands. Is this kind of like, is this kind of like when the dude who has a girl on a date pretends the car's out of gas, he has to pull over? Like you're, you actually have battery in there? Oh yeah, he can't hear me. Shit. Fucked up. It's all fucked up. Oh yeah, this is all kinds of fucked up. Cool. Fucked up, Kent. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine? Yeah, it happens, dude. 
It's fine. It's fine. All right. Yeah. So if it's gonna... yeah, if you don't have experience untangling that, then you have no chance of doing it. So I would just cut it off. Is your, it came off the spool the wrong way? Untangled, sucker. Okay. I stand corrected, potentially. Oh, yeah. Should I mute myself? Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. This should have gone up one size. I know it'd be cooler if I was talking right now and telling you guys what I was doing. Sorry. You got a decor? Almost. Almost, baby. <sighs> it's fun, though, right? It's fun. We're building. We're building stuff. Building stuff. Eifer. All right, hang on. I got a couple super chats here. Eifer, uh, you should try and get some friends to take over your channel for at least the vlog, you know, if that's reasonable. Listen, I'm not making any promises, Eifer, but there's going to be a bunch of people in my house, and of course, I'm going to sh shoot videos of them. <laughs> Derek R., great freaking job. I'm stoked for you, Nick. Where do I place my order to get some Grim Green aliens? Yo, freaking yo, bro. Ah, uh, Derek, you don't want any of these aliens. You don't want any of these aliens. Unless you really do, and then I'll definitely send you them. I think uh, I think all of your aliens so far, even the like, especially the mess ups, I think would be pretty Tape? fun for people to have, I think. Uh, send them terribly wrapped coils. I well, you made them, and they watched you make them. Like, there's sentimental value. I'm not saying they're going to be able to use them. What should I price these bad boys at? <laughs> Whatever you can sleep at night, you know, charging. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Eifer says, 500. Om Thulu is pleased by your blood sacrifice, Brother Nicholas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Om Thulu. Uh, six of 66 showed up. Kent, the coin a sour? The coin a sour. <sighs> clarification, Kent, Eifer, clarification. What, did, what does it say? Kent... The coin a sour. Coin? Are you sure it says coin? Uh, I'm pretty sure it says coin. 100 the coin sure. a capital A? Yeah. Sour. Sour. Like a sour, uh, something sour you'd eat. Kent, the coin 
a sour. Is it a riddle? Kent the coin a sour. Kent the coin a sour. It's, perhaps it's a part of a limerick. You know, that we don't know the rest limerick. of it. It's supposed to rhyme, obviously, and it doesn't. Could be. Tanner says, uh, this one's for you, Kent. You're the man, bro. Big super chat for Kent. I'll be sure to get that. Uh, I'll, I'll be sure to get those funds to him, Tanner. Your money is no good here. Yeah. Plus, I'm going to keep it anyway. Hey, Grim, yeah. finally sent you a few tunes from Wait, my Wait, was man that Tanner use. Fry? Yeah, Tanner Fry. Oh, my man, Tanner Fry. You better send me that money. He's back. Dude, he's been fucking supported. He's like way up there. Yeah. Top customers of all time. Dude, Tanner Fry Seriously. bought me a, 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 a bridged, linked Boro bridge. Tanner Fry's been very kind to me as well. Dude, Tanner he's Fry's a, a, he's a, a fucking guy. really nice guy, too. Yeah, really? You know, not to like, you know. Tanner Fry cast here, but yeah. Yeah. I like Tanner Fry. I always smile on my face if I get a DM from Tanner Fry. <sighs> Okay, I have a frame staple all prepared. And Do you really? Right here. All right, Blackhawk says, Hey, Grim, finally sent you a few tunes for my band to try. Oh, yeah. Dude, I will get back to you, bro. I want to hear it. Uh, Devin <laughs> says, uh, I wish I could catch this live, but I'll catch the replay crew. Hashtag replay crew. All good, Devin. You've just watched me fail and learn three times now. Uh, Derek says he wants the coils. Listen, Derek, Dude, we'll work out a deal. I'm saying. We'll get... People want the coils. We'll build. We'll get some. You want this two wrap that I did? My Phalian two wrap. Well, yeah. uh, I need to know. go get a hook, dude. As soon as I start selling coils on the website, like on my GrimGreenMerch.com, that is like a t tobacco product. Tobacco product. Well, maybe not. Maybe it, who cares? What? I'm just getting this decor off of here. I'm just thinking about the, uh, the legal ramifications of selling coils. What? Of, of whether or not that's considered like a tobacco product. You know. What? Those are uh, not even functional. We sell them as art pieces. I guess. Yeah. It's a uh, jewelry. Just put a little earring ring on there. Dude, that's what, when I hear that like super, like, like people who have like a coil business and they just make a few hundred bucks a month, there's no reason for them to stop selling this, in my opinion. No? Like, <sighs> yeah, the risk seems very, very small in that situation. Yeah, like catching a coil builder and then trying to say yeah. that it's actually a what? tobacco product? Yeah, those aren't even like the. I don't think there's. Are there states that even tax hardware or coils? Yeah. Yeah, man. Whoa, baby. Okay, this is an extra long decor. More seatbelt, Kent. More seatbelt. I know I'm going to get a good coil out of this. At least one, bro. You got At this. At least one. God, at least one. Please, God, just give me one coil. Just one coil. Oh, we doing 26 gauge cork? <laughs> yeah, you got you got it down now. I don't even believe that you don't know that. I don't. I have to double check. I'm too unsure of myself. Every time, Kent. So you're setting up for some, uh, what, do you, what did you say you had there? Stapled? Frame staple. Framed staple. A frames staple. Yeah. No hot glue. No hot glue? Is there a hot glue technique for frame staples? Uh, the majority of people use hot glue and a lot of spit in order to secure all their frames together and everything. Oh. And I don't know if, if I'll be able to use this method with this set up on a regular drill. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. I got my fingers crossed for you, man. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Dude, you got my back. I have to get yours, right? I mean, that's the good thing. To, that's a nice thing to do. Yeah. I don't think it's required. 
Let's see if I can even get enough tension on this fucking thing. There we go. Oh yeah. Good. Oh yeah. I think we're I think we're in business. Shit. Fuck. This should work. I wanted to do a shout out earlier. Oh yeah, for Blue Eyed Goon for thinking of this fucking alien coil. Oh yeah, you shout out Blue Eyed Goon before for discovering or for creating the alien coil. Yeah, I mean we've had our differences in the past, but I have to definitely give him credit there. He hated me for the longest time, but whatever. He hated you? Oh, don't even worry. I don't want to bring it up, but I already did intentionally. But I'm not <laughs> going to talk about it any more than that. <laughs> I'm not going to discuss it any further. I feel real good about this. Get your emotions out of it, man. You know what I mean? You can't. Be more Dao. Be more Dao? There is no good or bad. You, know, you are here at the service of the coil. You're doing the work of the coil gods. The outcome is out of your hands. You know what I mean? All you can do is good prep work. Other than that. Other than that, it's out of your hands. Yeah. Dao. 37 gauge? Oh, that's 34. No, I need a smaller wires. I'm gonna get this core on here. Shit, I should yeah. probably go 40. Okay. 38 gauge, I'm gonna be right back. Yeah, I should probably get some 38 gauge. All right, me, I'm just attaching for the third time in this stream. Woo! Attaching the, the, the Clapton wire to my core wire. Uh, okay. Stretching. Stretching process has started. What's going on here? Okay. What's funny about building on camera is that I would, like start getting self-conscious about my build face. Like, oh, what face am I making? Because I never even think about it. I'm like, what are people gonna think about my build face? What's with your dumb you... build face, bro? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something you do like 100% of the time in the privacy of your own house. Just going to turn Kent down a little bit. He's what, if you had to, what if you had to pee in front of a, a stadium full of people, you know? 
I've peed in front of a stadium full of people. No, you haven't. Yeah, definitely not a stadium, but a, an event show, an, a vape show. What do you mean? Where did you pee? Were you drunk? No, no, I just drank a lot of beer. And you were like peeing off the stage, kind of thing. It was uh, at, yeah, at my roast. Do you remember at one of the Vapor Mania shows that they organized like? The drill is so loud. Oh, really? <laughs> you drill so loud. I'm just well, turn me you. off and just tell me the story. I'm going to mute you and turn and tell you the story. At a vape show in, uh, where was it? Ca one of the uh, Carolinas, I think. Vape Mania or Vapor Slam, they did a roast of Grim Green. And it wasn't very good and it wasn't very funny. But I drank a bunch of beer before that and I had to sit on stage the whole time while they roast me. And I really had to go pee really, really bad. And I'm not going to leave the event and go down the hall and go pee. I'd be like, stop the show. I need to go pee. So I grabbed whatever beer cup I was drinking out of and went up on stage and hid behind the podium where my buddy Flitz was roasting me. And I said, hide me. And I just peed in the pint glass behind the podium. And then I put it on the stage and I sat back down. And that's the most. Oh, oh, you want to talk now? Oh, Kim wants to talk now? Okay, I'm just kidding. What up? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. No one knew you were peeing. Except for the people in the audience and on stage. Oh, you told them all I'm peeing right now into a pint glass? Well, they could see it and hear it. What do you mean they could see it? They saw your dick? No, no, no. Nobody saw my dick. Oh, no, you're behind the podium. That's not the same I'm as behind peeing the podium. in front of everybody. But I was still peeing in a cup. You're privately. It's like having a catheter. Okay. All right. It's like having a colostomy bag and being like, yeah, I shit in front of everybody all the time. <laughs> like, no, you don't. It's all covered up. No one sees it. That doesn't count. You, you have, uh, Ken has some really rigid life rules here. It's like, no, it doesn't count in peeing in front of someone if you're covered up. Doesn't. Who hasn't peed in the pool secretly? You didn't. You know I mean, in front pool, of all the friends. You, don't pee in what? my pool, Ken. I, I don't. I'm old, okay. I'm an old man, dude. I don't do that kind of thing anymore. It's yeah, weird. Good. Me too. All right. Yeah, you go. can't get away with that after you're like, what, 17? You know? Even 17? then it's kind of weird, but you're like, whatever. He's 17. He's a teenager. <laughs> Some 38-year-old peeing in a pool. It's like, come on, man. Get your shit together. Well, here's the thing. I've peed in a pool as an adult. <laughs> You pee in your pool all the time. I'm certain no, no, no. of it. It's I your pool. No, no, no. I don't pee in my pool because it's my pool. I've peed don't... like on vacation, like at, at at other pools. Look, when you're at a resort and there's like a swim up bar and you're just floating in the water, drinking at a bar in the water, what are you supposed to do? Get out and go pee? Yeah, that's Everybody's a responsible peeing. thing to do. Everybody's that's, peeing in that that's water. That's why I don't ever, I don't, I generally don't swim in big public pools because it's just kind of grosses me out. It's too much pee. Yeah, because there's a lot aliens. of people like that. We're, gonna, we're going. We're going alien, Ken. All right. You might want to mute me because I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to just turn you down at least a little bit. See, Kent's going to be done spinning, and he's going to come back and try to talk, and he's going to be muted. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Me, Dane B, cross your fingers, bud. I need those good energy. Send those good vibes through your screen.
Oh, damn. That was awesome. I definitely got enough for one coil, but I fucked up. Let me know when people can hear me. They can hear you. Okay. Whew. What was that, just third try? Oh, look at that, man. Can you see it? Is it Somebody's cool showing off. Showing off. That's enough for a single coil for sure, right? That's, just, that's like know, get two you, solid inches. Get your ruler, dog. That's like two solid... Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, two and a half inches. That's basically oh, two gotta, inches. It's like two inches. I think, oh, two inches? Yeah, about two inches. Yeah, that's enough for a four wrap, though. <sighs> Wait, do you get a five wrap with that? Let me see. Let me a, four, a four wrap. Four wrap, five wrap. Let me see. Consult the, consult the, the, the Google oh, Doc. Consult the Google Doc. Actually, actually. Actually. 2.25, but if you use a 2.5, you should use a 2.5 millimeter bit. Wait, no, yeah, it's still, you need 2.25 inches. That's two exactly? That's two inches exactly. Well, you can cut one lead a little bit longer, leave some naked wire on there. Yeah. Or how much more decor could. do you have? A bunch. Oh, fucking keep going. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going. Oh. But I was just like, this was the most I think I've ever got in one. Yeah. In one sitting. Yeah, for this specific alien, yes. For this, I mean, I think ever this is the most I've got in one sitting. So I'm gonna you keep got trying. A, didn't she get like a four or five wrap three core alien already? Yeah, I did a five core or a five wrap three core alien. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Sweet beginner's luck, man. It was. That definitely was beginner's luck. Well, because you well, the thing about being beginner is you can't overthink things too much. Yeah, because you, you know? just you don't know what you're doing. They just it's like drowning a baby. No, no, <laughs> it's like no. At this point, you're definitely a nine year old. Yeah. Okay, you're you definitely a nine. You can't really drown a baby unless you're really an evil person. Just actually, hold them under the water or something terrible. Yeah, but like babies know how to, to swim. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. My, when I was, before I was one, my mom took me to a swimming class and they just let, let you go in the water and you just, you just float. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep going. But I tell you, these magnifying guys really help. Well, good. How's your coil going, Kent? I'm done. I'm done. Oh, you're done. All right. Oh, this has Made a, a frame staple. It oh, works, which is good news for it. you. It's good news for you because I think it should be pretty easy for you. Once I come there and show you how to do it. Oh, you think so? so Five and a half the, inches. Here's hmm. the problem I keep running into now, Ken. Shit, that's not enough. What? Is, um, I'm holding the wire down and kind of like you said, using my hand as like a weight to hold it down and it gets really good wraps. But I notice that over time, my arm just keeps going lower and lower and lower and lower. Yeah, that's fine. And it just keeps going lower and lower, and I don't know how to adjust the weight or the, the tightness to, like, choke back up a little bit. Yeah, why would you want to choke back up? I just feel like I'm getting so far away from it. Like The, the further, the better. The further, the better. That's what you're telling me. You're eventually going to get to a point where you can't take it any further away, and you have no choice but to modulate the tension properly with your fingertips. Okay. You know? okay. So just go to the limit. Is that why you stopped this time? No, I stopped because I saw it double over on itself. I was going to keep going, oh. but I just felt so satisfied by this length that I wanted to turn on my macro camera so that we could all appreciate the glory. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Of no, my 19th absolutely. try of aliens. You should be oh, proud of it. I'm going to keep going. I feel pretty good about this. I mean. Good. Good. You're right, Kent, you're right. You're right, look at this fuck up. Yep, farther away, Kent, farther away.
No, I got distracted measuring my coils here. Okay. Yeah, I try not to talk too much when you're doing it. Let up. I know it's because I'm letting up on the tension. I know everybody in the chat's telling me the same thing. Well, yeah. Because I mean, I that's from the from the pattern that you're getting. That's obviously what's happening. Is that you're you're, you're not holding enough tension. I'm just trying to figure out fucking how. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's hard, dude. It's like because you in order to. In order to keep it tight, you want to move your hand down. And yes. when you're doing that, you're but the thing about doing that is like, you're, you're, hold on, you're keeping the tension and your fingers the same. And so what happens is, the fuck, did I not turn this on? Okay, there we go. So you keep your tension the same in your fingers and you're just increase, like you're getting more tension by moving your hand down. Yes. And so I, I was, what I was hoping for is like, once you got to the point where you can't move your hand any farther down, that then you'd have tension. you'd have no choice but to squeeze harder but it seems like you're really scared of you know it's like you're you're holding a baby bird's neck and you don't want to break it that's not what's happening here this yeah. is much more sturdy than that much more sturdy than a baby bird's neck yes <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm glad I'm my analogies curious. are going so dark yeah today. no it's <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with me okay Ugh. okay, okay. The workout must have really fucked with my head, okay. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of horror stuff with the girls, so that's, that's probably good. what it is. That speed is good. Shit. Shit. Ooh, double them back now. So also another way to increase tension, if you if you're too scared to grip that wire, you can also spin the drill faster and keep your hands the same. And it'll it'll pull more tension that way. I think you should just blow through this last bit at a higher speed than you're comfortable with. There. decor ran out yep. of decor but god damn it yeah that went great yeah because see how it increases the tension by spinning faster and you don't have to try to worry about how hard your hand is holding it and then you start getting that vibration and you feel it and you're like oh, okay it's like holding a kite you know it is like holding a kite yeah it's like holding a kite if you try to like keep the string real short and run with it you're not going to get very far but you get like a shit longer and you just hold the tension you're like oh yeah I feel it i'm feeling it now but you'll notice your pattern it's so weird that at the end when you're already running out you're like oh it doesn't matter now really you should have the attitude at the beginning because you still have so much left it doesn't matter now because i have so much decor you know yeah so i think 
the next time you do one of these, I think you have enough for a coil at least because you can you you don't have to cut it off where it's fucked up after the first two inches. I definitely but, have enough for one you know, coil. You, I can get a single coil. We're gonna vape the Hadley. Yeah. yeah. You might have a janky part that's like looking weird near your on your leads, but it doesn't matter. It's still gonna vape just fine because it's not in the coil itself. Man. Just one I mean, you might you might want to measure that last bit too. I mean, that's what do you think? That's less than the fr front part. Yeah, I think it's less. Oh, okay. I think it's less. I'm gonna see how many reps I can get with these guys. Hold on a second. It's because this is two and a half inches easy. <sighs> Fuck yeah! Fucking five reps, bro. Inches perfect for dual fiber wraps because you know what's funny is i always said i don't like frame staples i think they have a muted flavor but the only frame staples i had actually tried were with 0.5 ribbon it's like gigantic so gigantic. i just made these with 0.3 i've never even baked 0.3 frame staples so i'm gonna try them maybe i'll like them gigantic try to, try to keep an open mind i'm gonna try to wrap this into a coil yeah do it dude leave Make sure you don't cut it too short. That's all. Try not Cut to. it three inches, dude. So you leave yourself plenty and then start your wrap from the, you know that, start your wrap yeah, from the yeah. janky part. From the jankiest part that I can find. But you want to have the, the, the aliens captured in the screws, you know, right? Yeah, or it won't work. Yeah, you can't have just na naked Oh, no, you can have cores. You can have naked wires. You can yeah. have naked cores? Yeah. The outside wrap does practically nothing resistance-wise. It's literally just to hold the liquid and make it fucking taste better. Wrap the whole thing. 19 wrap. All right. All right, Derek. All right. Take yeah, like if you took... Table. If you made a parallel 26-gauge coil and you put it in there and use the same exact amount of this two core alien that you have yeah. it'd be almost exactly the same resistance let's see if this is gonna see this oh it's not on my autofocus oh that's a pretty good length of alien right there yes exciting <laughs> Can't That's almost thrill. a whole hand length. Do you have almost. really small hands, or is that like? No. Because I have across. I have two point seven inches right here. Hold on. Right here, I have two point seven. That you know was longer than this. Oh. I don't know. Let's wrap. Yeah, dude. All right. We get dual dual five wraps, bro. I'm gonna face these mothers. Okay. And then save you. That's for Derek. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty proud of myself, here? Nick. I'm not going to lie, because I didn't even measure like the ribbon that I was doing or anything, and I got perfect amount, like exactly a perfect amount for dual five wraps. Did you? Yeah. Well done. It's the little things in life. I agree. Uh, let's see if I can get a four wrap out of this. You should be able to get a four wrap. You're two point five millimeters, right? Yeah. Okay. My it's twisted. My alien's twisted. Untwist it before you start wrapping it. I know. I'm trying. Do you have two sets of pliers? 
Yeah, that's what I have in my hand. Okay, I thought you had your coil jig in your hand. I did. I'm gonna go grab a deck. I'm gonna install these right now. Fuck yeah, bro. Okay. Let's go to the restroom. Sorry. I don't care, Kent. <laughs> Dang. All right. I think this is going to work. Um, I did a four wrap. But it's for the Hadley, so the legs have to go off in the opposite directions. I think this is gonna work, dude. I think this is gonna work. You see the Hadley deck? Shit, I'm nervous. I don't think this is going to work, actually. Shit. <sighs> How's it looking? Four wrap? Four wrap. It's close quarters, man. It is close quarters. Oh, here, I did it upside down, too, damn it. did it incorrectly for the Hadley. I wrapped it wrong. Yeah, that's the worst. Shh, crap on the inside of this RDA. All right. You wrapped it RDA style? I wrapped it clockwise. Is yeah. that even a, is that a four wrap, Kent? That's a three wrap, dog. All right, well, that's what I can get in here. All right. Why is your lead so long on the good side? Because it's jank. Now you could wrap that, turn it around in your jig, wrap that good part. You got a whole nother wrap you on think that I shit. You wrap this good part? No, the one, other one, the one closest to the chuck. That was all good from the chuck on. Yeah. Yeah, so see how long that is sticking out? You're just going to cut that off? You could wrap that around one more time. Take it out, put it back on your jig in the other way, and wrap that back over. Are you sure? Dude, what else? You're just wasting all... That's like the best part of your alien, just sticking out like more than a quarter inch. All right, hang on. No, because it needs to go... Yeah, uh, look, you're not going to get a full wrap, but then you can wrap the other side over more to make it correct. You know what I'm saying? Because the other side still has some good stuff left too. So, so you have to you have to bend both back. Like if it doesn't go around a full rotation, I get bend you. it enough. I get you. See what I'm saying? Like that, dog? Okay, so now that's a four wrap. Hell yeah. I think that's, I think you're right, Kent. Hell yeah. That's a, literally on your first build stream that I watched, that I wasn't on here to be able to tell you that. You did the same thing. You had a fucking alien coil, for sure. 
And all you had to do was like wrap it the other way, just like that, and even it out, you would have had it. And you just threw it away. You wrapped the janky part, actually, is what you did. And you kept the janky. And you said, later you said, no, I wanted that to be a jankly. And I'm like, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, I definitely do. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, it is going the wrong way. Shit. It has to go upside down like this. I haven't built this Hadley in so long. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. Is that right? Well, you know it's upside down. I know. Wait, I... It, isn't that the way it's supposed to go, though, on that one? I'm not 100% sure. Because it looks... Or is it... Yeah, because where the air comes in way at the bottom. The air comes in from the sides. Yeah, this yeah. is right. Yeah. Right. I, I, I don't think it matters much, does it? It matters a little. Because once you get it tightened in there, you can just pull it up as far as it goes. It kind of matters. Yeah. I don't know how they designed the airflow to actually travel through there. It's coming in the bottom and then the pressure increases, moves around the coil as it goes up. Yeah. Oh, God damn this. Fucking Hadley. Not the best install I've ever done, but you know what? I'll take it. This Hadley is just broken on me. Oh, literally the, the, the post broke? Clamp. The clamp broke. Hmm, you don't have the original box. I bet they have an extra clamp in there. Holy fuck, the clamp broke. All right, Hadley. You sure it's not a clone, bro? No, I don't think <laughs> this is a clone. Kidding. Whoa, fuck, what if this is a clone? But yeah, the clamp broke. That's a broken Hadley clamp there, Derek. Broken ass Hadley clamp. All right, uh, luckily. You, where did you get the Hadley from? Um, Cyclone Mods. They sent it to yeah, me directly. It's, it's not a clone. Sorry. But, hang on. Do you have any other, do you have an Alexa or something? I have another, uh... I have the Gambit. Does anybody remember the Gambit? I actually don't remember the Gambit. It's just a single coil squonker. Oh, is it the opposite direction for Hadley? So you actually wrapped your shit right? I'm not sure. I know that this has a wacky ass install though. I can't tell if that goes on the inside. Okay, I don't see how this coil goes in here. Have you built this RTA before? Um, you know, I've used it before, but someone else built it for me. You remember EKG builds? Right, yeah, of course. Zeke. EKG, yeah, Zeke sent me this RDA. Zeke sent me this RDA and had a build already installed in it. That looks like shit. I can't imagine that that's correct, but I'm gonna try to screw this down anyway. Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wick this up and vape it. See if I like it. Oof. That's correct. <clears throat> Does this really have to be at that fucking weird ass? 
this angle. Okay, this deck is stupid. This deck <laughs> is ten kinds of stupid, man. I think that's why he sent it to you, because he didn't like it? It could be. Maybe. 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 You know how you know. <laughs> you know how frustrating it is, Kent, to have the Hadley sitting on my desk for three weeks, just waiting. I'm all getting all excited, ready to vape this RDA. No, nope. you go to install a coil, just breaks, and then this fucking gambit is a piece of shit. Yeah, I'll be honest. When the single coil RDA started gaining popularity, I was just like. Fucking why? <laughs> I, I, but I'll, I'll be honest, like, I didn't have enough patience with them. I was like, I would do a build in one. It took forever because I, I wasn't used to it. And then I'd vape it. And I'd be like, okay, this is like half a vape. Right. And then I just never could get used to it. <sighs> never did it for me. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But you know, some people swear by him, like manipulated metals. Derek, he fucking loves. It's all he vapes a single coil. Like single coil squonker RDAs. I don't know about squonker. I'm not sure, but he also drips 12 milligrams, so. Ah. Which is fucking crazy. <laughs> Look, but he likes it. it is that gives me heart crazy. palpitations. I tried it. 12 milligram? Like lung 12 they, milligram? Dripping? Yeah. Like 120 watts. I did it for a while because once you get worked past the throat hit, it's fine. It's just like it's a little bit harsh still, but you're pretty much used to it. You have then to get I started acclimated to it, yeah. But it, yeah, it takes a second to get acclimated to 12. I mean, I do six all the time and I like that a lot. You lung six, yeah. I can't lung six. I can only lung three. In fact, did I say this in the vlog or I don't remember where I said this, but I think uh twelve milligram in a mouth to lung I think is getting to be too much. I might have to go down to six for a mouth to lung. Which is weird. You should just mix to eight. Eight's nice in mouth to lung, I think. Eight, eight yeah, nine. eight would be nice. Nine would be amazing in a mouth to lung. Yeah, well you could do that. You could just mix your 12 with the 3, it makes 9, right? If you mix 3 milligram with a 6 milligram, do you get 9 milligrams? With a 12 milligram, no. Not with a... It's not addition, it has to be a... You add them together and divide by 2. So I think what's... 3 and 12 is 15. Oh, never mind. Divided by 2, that's only 7... 7 and a half. So maybe a six and a twelve. It's eighteen divided by two is nine. Yeah, six and twelve mixed together. Nine makes it nine, right? Okay. Here's the alien. You got it in there. Look at look at this deck though. Look at that stupid deck. Oh, yeah. You could have done that just without the clamp and Hadley. Just use the screw, right? It's a terrible deck. <laughs> But it's glowing even. Yeah, that the screw heads are so tiny. They so, want you to trap your lead under there. Yeah, at these weird ass angles. Like, look at this long lead here and this short little lead right there. But it's still centered in front of the airflow because these two things right here are where yeah. your airflow comes in. Is this a high end thing or something? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. That's why it's some obnoxious. Weird shit, dude. Yeah. It, look, it's yeah. not the prettiest thing I've ever done, Tyler B, but it's certainly not the ugliest. 
I texted you a picture of my frame staple. Oh, did you? Just okay, letting you know. I don't okay, have a setup. You know, I gotta fill up the bottle, I gotta fill up the, you know, because it's squonking, so there's 19 more steps. It's like, oh no, you can't just wick it and juice it. You gotta wick it, juice it, fill up your bottle. Yeah, why are you squonking? Why don't because you just drip onto it? Really good squonker from uh, Snowcap, and I've been wanting uh, to use it. I yeah. was using it for a while, and then, uh, fuck, I just kept tasting the silicone bottle too much. But I got a new bottle, so I'm hoping that I'm hoping mm. I won't be able to taste the bottle. I fell into that same trap. I bought like a really a pretty expensive little single battery squonk. It's like the mm -hmm. two things that I don't like, but it was nice. And so I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I should use this because I spent so much money on it. Yep. And I'm just like hating every moment of it for a, like a couple of weeks. And I'm like, what am I doing? Really? Yeah, I never, I never get used to the single battery. I like it. I don't know. I never got used to squonking. It seems like more work because once you run out of liquid, you got to do this whole big process, you know? Yeah. Well, I remember in Sweden, you brought a squonker with you. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. The Ultim one? Yeah, that Ultim squonker. Yeah, it looked fucking dope. That's why. Okay. Yeah, Matt, Matt Bennett. Bennett, Matt Bennett. Custom, Bennett Customs made that. It's a really nice mod. It's just like... It looks really cool. It's just my, not my fucking cup of tea. Yeah, I get that. I get that. What, what liquid should I put on this? Something good. You got some of that baked, bro? No, I, I vaped it all. Oh. I think Dwayne's just too busy. He said he was going to send me more stuff, but... He's yeah, he said he was going to send me more stuff, too. Okay. Well, if you didn't get anything, then I definitely didn't get anything. <laughs> There's a hierarchy there. There is. A, there is. It's, it's really bureaucratic and boring. Call an HR. Fuck this bullshit. I'm calling HR on Dwayne. Should I take another picture of these? Dope cell phone shots, dog. It's firing, dude. And it sounded crackly. It's on a really crappy RDA. Yes. You guys. Ooh, you guys. Good. This has been... <laughs> I've been wanting to vape this squonker. For three weeks now, but I finally built a two-core alien to go inside of it. What's on the inside? The black vine from the Rochford Project in the UK. Cheers. Kent, I'm vaping it. I think I should put this awesome. like, side-by-side -side comparison between these frame staples awesome. and the Staggertons. This is awesome. It's a good vape, eh? Really eh? good, bro. Do you hear that crackle? Yeah. Success. See? Progress, not perfection, Nick. Progress, not perfection. Damn. That's some deep shit, Kent. It's from AA. Is it from AA? Progress, yeah, not perfection? The, it's one of the slogan things that you say. Oh, I like that slogan a lot. Helps out, man. That really does help out. Progress, not perfection. Snowcap. I am. So, you guys don't know how satisfied I am right now with this snowcap and that gambit on there. Even though it's a terrible RDA to build, it's a great RDA to vape. Rochford project. Hmm. It's not bad. This is everything I wanted. This is everything I wanted, you guys. I'm sorry hmm. I've been ignoring the super chats. I'm going to see if there's any more that popped in there. Oh, there definitely was. We missed a whole mess of them. 
At least they didn't uh, yeah. disappear on you. Yeah, I know. That does happen. It does happen. Um, oh, Kent called himself a connoisseur of coils. A coin of, a coin of sour of coils. Oh, You're a connoisseur. Connoisseur. I Correction. See. Coin of sour. A connoisseur. Connoisseur. Yeah, that's a really hard word to spell. It's because it's fucking directly taken from French. It's stupid. I don't connoisseur. Know how Are you a coil connoisseur, Kent? Yeah. Uh, uh, I am. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Duh. I'm like the only one left. You know? You're the only real coil connoisseur left? I don't know who's going to say that I'm not. You know? Is there any coil connoisseurs in chat want to be like, fuck you, I am too. <laughs> yeah. That'll prove it, but I'm not. But so as far just... as I know. I like that logic. I like that. I like that. That's good. Prove I'm not. Prove I'm Dude, not. Dude, I sent you two, two text messages with my coils I built. They're probably oh. they're not good enough to put on stream, probably. But I just wanted you to see that I actually. Oh, did you build just them. built these? Yeah. Just Those now. Are the frame, frame staples. That's what I did while on stream here. All right. So yeah, I'm we will need to. Yeah, we'll save. We'll uh. Yeah. And they're pretty well, good. Like if you could get these down, I, I just did it with your setup, basically. The only thing more you need is a little hook thing. Put on your swivels but yeah you should be able to build these and they're actually this is actually a good vape with 0.3 ribbon what's the gauge that's 0.3 10 strands 10 plies of 0.3 ribbon and the frames are 29 gauge those look beautiful they turned out pretty clean yeah and you just did them yeah first try it's awesome i can't believe it. i'm just glad it worked with this setup because I was like, I wasn't sure. Because on the other setup, I can get a lot more tension. And I've been like really using a lot of tension. But I was able to get enough tension just with this, with the two clamps. Right. And it worked out. And you got plenty of tension. Dude, we're going to try these when you get here. Yeah. What I like about this is it doesn't, it's not super complicated. And you learn the, you still have to learn the same basics of manipulating ribbon wire. But, but you don't have to add hot glue. And it's just, it's quite a bit easier because I just used one of these little clamps that I sent you. You know, the little screw on deals. Yeah. The smarts, smarts from those guys. And then um, from just vapor. And then and that's it. Some extra strands of 37 gauge. And then there's a 38 gauge wrap on there. I find this really impressive. <laughs> that is a really sobering thought that. In the time that it took me not to like half build these aliens and wrap these aliens, you did a dual coil framed staple. Yeah, that was actually just pure luck, dude. I didn't clip those leads at all. It was 100% perfect for duels to five wraps. Like there was no extra anything. No, I no extra clip. seat belt. I didn't clip the leads. No, that was like if I had done a quarter, like a, a eighth of an inch less, it wouldn't have worked. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Me too, Green Thumb. Me too. Dang, that's rad as hell. That's cool, Kent. You got skills, bro. You are skilled. That, I don't know if I've ever told you this. You're a very <laughs> skilled builder. You're a good builder. You're I'm skilled. Not, dude. I'm not You're that good. Skilled. I'm really not. I'm, you are. I'm proficient these days. I'm glad that I was able to get to a level See, of proficiency. No, to your standards, though, to your standards, you're proficient. To my standards, you're a golden goose. You're 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 like a god. A god, yeah. A compared god. To, your, to me, to you, compared yeah. to me, you're a god. <laughs> but compared <laughs> to the actual gods of building, um, I don't know, dude. They're really, really, really good. But like to be able to like that's that took so much practice for me to get yeah. ribbon to be able to even fold ribbon. And get it. I spent hours and hours and hours of frustration on that shit, dude. So. Hopefully, I can save you some of that by being there and showing you in person. Yeah. Yes. Because, yeah, like with those first build offs I was in, because I, I was just, I wasn't building. I didn't even plan on it. And then Iron Coil, coil Builder happened. They're like, hey, do you want to do another one of these Iron Coil Builders? I'm like, okay. They're like, it's going to be ribbon wear. I'm like, fuck, I'm fucked. I think it was fuck. aliens first. And I'm like, oh, shit. I have to learn aliens. And I learned <laughs> aliens for the contest. And somehow I won. I don't know. I think they were letting me win. I don't know. But like, uh, <laughs> what does this say, bro? If you keep at it, you'll be doing shit like frame staples one day. one day. 
Dude, frame staples, that's not that hard. It's not that much harder than a fuse clafted. Because you that's get your prep down. Says. Once you get your shit prepped, it's pretty much the same exact process as a fuse clafted. So, but, uh, and then they did ribbon wear. I'm like, because I was thinking to myself, I'm never going to learn ribbon. Fuck that shit. It's too hard. And then the next one was ribbon wear, and I had to learn it in like, I had two weeks. And so I went through so much fucking ribbon, dude. It was ridiculous. Yeah. I went, I, it took me a very, long time well it took me two weeks (laughs) but but two weeks of like 13 hours a day i was taking that shit super seriously i'm gonna yeah Yeah. every time i build i want to just keep building i think after the stream's over i'm gonna try to do some more aliens i'm gonna keep practicing mm, yeah dude once you catch the bug you're gonna be fucked bro Uh, there's well you're on vacation though it's gonna be i'm on vacation so i can just come in here and build whenever i want it's gonna be great i don't have to be like oh i need to tear this down to stream it too or i don't need to tear this down to stream you know i can leave this build stuff set up and just build during my break i'm really i'm really excited about it there's so much and i know i kind of sound like a broken record at this point but there's so much to enjoy about building that I, I don't know why everybody doesn't build like even the prep works kind of cool and getting everything ready and then when you feel the aliens going on it's just so satisfying and the claptons it it's is. really satisfying and then building your own coil and vaping it and it's really really well i tremendously think i think it's really satisfying intimidating i think the, it's it's similar to exercising, right? Because when you're out of shape and you fucking try to exercise, it hurts yeah. so bad for sucks. multiple days. You're punished. It sucks. But once you get into shape, it actually feels good and it's enjoyable. It's and it's fun, fun and you look forward good. to it. Yeah. yeah. And so that's... If people, I think, could just um, get with Nick Devine, honestly. Like Yes. Everybody like, go subscribe to Nick Devine on YouTube. And, like, whatever the Facebook group is, you know, because... There's everybody wants to help. Like everybody is so helpful. Like, you know, I'm not saying Nick is going to have time to go through and talk to everybody, but everybody in the group. And once you find that group, they're so helpful. They'll just guide you through everything. You know? Yeah, they are. I haven't met a builder yet. That's been un- unhelpful. Everybody wants to be helpful. Everybody wants to give you a little tip or a little trick or a little like, I do it this way. Do you do it this way? try to be helpful you try to you know and a big thing about building is you have to rely on the people that have been there before like you have to rely on people like you who have that expertise who are smarter who've been doing this for longer to get that advice from you know well that's the benefit now is that people because that's why you'll see people who just start building and then they get into it and they get fucking hooked on it and then all of a sudden they're building crazy shit. Yeah. Because this the the ladder is set there for you now. Like you can just follow the steps one by one. Everybody's done everything already. And so you you learn their processes and it speeds it up so fast. Yeah. Cuz like back in the day when you were trying to think of new shit and like no one had done anything, it was really hard cuz like no one could show you how to do it, you know. But that's what's so cool is like once you have somebody who's willing to like show you, to show anybody Use yeah. guys on yeah. IG. Use that hashtag. I started using that on some of my builds. Use guys. It's cool. That's uh, that's divine. That's Nick Divine's hashtag. Just awesome. Yeah. A full of packed with really cool coil builds. And I find myself like, if Instagram serves me like, oh, you might like this coil build, and it's something I really like. I just end up following all these builders because I just, after building, I just get exponentially more impressed. <laughs> Motherships yeah, don't make absolutely. any sense to me. That's something that we should talk about someday. Who's a good I'll mother shipper? Right now. Who's a good mother shipper that we could get to do some motherships? I'm pretty good at it. You are? All right. I don't need but anybody they, else other than but, Kent, then, I guess. Other, oh, uh, Manipulated Metals. Derek's really, really good at it, too. He's, He's a mother very, shipper? Very All right. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll get that mother shipper but on But the her. thing is, like, you don't have the tools to do that. No, I know I don't, and I don't have, or the skill, but I still... Well, it's not even a skill thing. It's like, if you use this drill to make a mothership, it's going to take you, like, 38, 48, 48 gauge, dude. Yeah. It'll literally take you two hours to get, like, three feet. And you'll fuck up somewhere. I would fuck up. Anyone would fuck up somewhere in there. Because if you think about 48 gauges, point zero zero or point zero two or three millimeters i think it's like ridiculously small so every time the drill goes around once it's only moving that fraction of a fucking millimeter yep you know yeah so you have to it has to go like 
20 or 30 times to get one millimeter. Think about how long you're going to fucking be there to get a four foot decor, which you need. It's fucking, yeah. But the, how it works, though, is you just you make a single core Clapton with a really small gauge. And then you just make a decor with that. So just like you just did with you were using uh, 30, 37 29, gauge, 29 gauge, 37 gauge. Yeah. Yeah. With 37. So you just do 29 gauge. And then you you put your micro Clapton over that. You'd have made a micro Clapton yeah. with thirty eight and forty eight, and then all you do is you just wrap that around your twenty your twenty nine and you decor it. Stretch it. And then it. you make an alien with it. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where it gets stressful because it's witchcraft. It's it straight up because, fucking witchcraft. Because you got so much time just in that wrap wire witchcraft. invested. Manipulated metals. Did, did you sell your soul to the devil to become a good coil builder? And was it worth it? That's all I want he's, to know. Is it worth he's, it? He's the most dedicated coil builder photographer out there, in my opinion. Yeah. There's no one who's been grinding for as long as him. Just going again and again and continuing to improve, which is insane. Yeah. That's huge. It's crazy. It's huge. It's and he has a real. fucking he has, a, he has a, a job too. He's not just sitting there <laughs> doing it all day. He works in some sort of high tech factory thing. I know, and I have no excuse. This is literally my job, so I should be really good at this. Well, no, you have a lot of shit going on normally. You do fucking know, do. so many videos. No, you're constantly busy. Yeah. And you have a wife. You know, they have to spend time with. Yeah. You know, most people in your position just go in the garage. I'm sorry, my fan upstairs is on its last legs. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. just keeps. It I leave like it on 24 hours. It's a jet engine taking off. It's been going for for 20,000 hours. Coil I never turn it off. So. <laughs> is that your hashtag, Breeze Tones? <laughs> I'd love that to be a cute hashtag. Um. Yeah, man. All right. Well, shit. This was a really fun build stream, bro. Thank you for coming out again. Um, I, I want Kent on the stream anytime that Kent wants to be on the stream. So hopefully, like every Monday, right? I mean, I'm not gonna make you commit, but anytime I we can get Kent here, we can get Kent here. Let's get a. Uh, I'm gonna get a Google Doc going of builders to have on the stream. Yeah, because so I don't some... know every builder. I know. Yeah, there's a lot of good builders that I might not even follow. Yeah, I just well, followed somebody yesterday. I had no idea about it in Indonesia. I was like, Jesus Christ, that is a fucking dope fucking coil. Like, he uh, is a really, oh, really cool. who's the guy in Canada? Om, Om, Om Dao, Om, Om something in Canada. His little profile picture is a Canadian maple leaf. You're talking about Om Canada. That's Om Canada. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. All the builds I see yeah. coming out of Om Canada are fucking yeah, yeah, nuts. Yeah, yeah, dude. Their team is 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 a heavy hitting team. Let's say that. Yeah. Because everybody who gets on that team gets sponsored by Kidney Puncher. Yeah. So they, I don't Puncher know what there. the requirements are as far as like posting and stuff. I'm this sure it's team way Twisted more messes work. messes right here. Do. Am I on Team Twisted Messes? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. The bar's really, really low these days for that team. It's team no Twisted one, Messes. No it's one like wants the, to be on it anymore. Well, I mean, look, this is why, I mean, I didn't get left back in high school, but I was in like slow kids, like special ed class in high school. It takes me a long time to learn shit just does yeah just takes me a while and i try to celebrate little victories like one little single coil that's enough to keep me going you know that's enough to keep me excited uh, man this is a yeah, good i am so is, satisfied like, with this you heard, you heard what nick said it took him like fucking what was it was it six weeks or three months to get aliens down something crazy yeah yeah and look where he's at today so it's just Every skill adds on to the next one. Like yes. you do fuse Claptons, and then once you're fusing a, a frame staple, it's the same process and you're already good at that. And so yeah. it keeps adding and adding onto itself, you know? Yeah. The only advantage I have is that I spent hundreds of hours twisting wire, which I think a lot of people maybe haven't spent as much time, but then everything else I don't, I'm, I'm way behind, so. Oh, I think I've seen him, Pam, 5150, Sammy Nitro. At a 50-50, it's a Canadian builder. Yeah, so listen, shout out to all the builders out there for innovating all this forward and giving us really pretty cool shit to look at. 
Thank you, Kent, for uh, being my building Sherpa a little bit up the coil building mountain. Shout I out can't to believe Devon frame staples well. are a good vape. I had no idea, dude. I thought they sucked. God, I feel dumb. No, it's don't a good feel vape. Dumb. You, you, you look, you change your mind with new information. That's called growing. No, and I, well, the thing is, like, for the longest time, I was so stubborn with everything. I'm like, nah, frame staples suck. Yep. No, nah, free, free hands better than fucking swivels. <laughs> I like I like my high mass coils. Yeah. You know, it's like everything I was stuck in my ways. And then luckily there was some growth available for this, you know, aging gentleman. Yep. All it takes. All it takes. Yeah. It's all it takes. All right. You seem Thanks, like you've Jeff. lost interest in this stream. No, we're go. good. We're just, go we just went real long and I, I'm just... I'm kind of celebrating my my coil. I just want to keep vaping it. I know it's not a big win, but this little single coil oh, has yeah. made me it's a really big win. satisfied. It's a huge win. You really just went through it. how many build streams did you unsuccessfully try that? Two before Few, this? Yeah, two. 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 Yeah, dude. Yeah, you needed this win. Let's be honest. I'm glad. Feels good. I'm very man. happy that you got it. Feels good, man. Um, I'm going to check the rest of these super chats, you guys. That's right. Connoisseur of coils. Uh, uh, Joshi Maigashi says, you got a build face. Well, let me see your build face. I saw Kent's build face. <laughs> uh, Jake Scrapwood says, uh, I will get my desk done before you get those aliens done. <laughs> Maybe. Who cares? How's the, jet, how's the desk going, Jake? I want to see pictures of it. Tribal Buddha, in honor of New Wave Dave. That's right, everybody. Yak bong. Thanks, Tribal Buddha. Dave couldn't uh, be here today, but Dave's always here, man. Sexy King Phil says, Grim, yo, yo, those small white glasses, where can I get them? Oh, YouTube is being stupid and not notifying me that you went live. Oh, hi, Kent. I can't, I don't know. I'm going to blame YouTube for all of my woes in life. As far as these, this little number right here, I Amazon. don't know. Yeah, I'm assuming Amazon. This is yeah, called uh, less less than thirty dollars. Yocto Sun. And yeah, that's the LED. brand. I have that brand. Has an LED. Um, those are really great. Those add, in my opinion, to the satisfaction level of when you're starting aliens and you can see real up close every link, like going on the core wire. <sighs> Feels good. I, think I must man. be near. I must be nearsighted. Feels because good. I can see that without those. No, you must have really good nearsighted vision then. I'm nearsighted too, but I can't see that close. Oh, okay. New Wave Dave made it. Woo! That was close, bro. Yak bong. Appreciate you, bro. Derek R., you miss me already. Have a great vacation. I will have a great vacation, Derek R. Don't worry, bro. We'll chill. We'll hang out. You have no no need to miss me. No need to miss me. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys for coming out. I hope this uh, has inspired you to try some building. If not, oh yeah, yeah. I'm ready to say goodbye, Nick. I hope this has inspired you guys to do some building, to to to. I don't know, to just try something you never tried before, and maybe don't give just, up. Maybe it's just fun to watch. Sometimes. Maybe it's just fun to watch. If you guys like coming here and just fun to watch, then enjoy this very tight shots of me and Kent for a few minutes. Yeah. 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 Real tight. Yeah, well, tight. Dude, I, I like can't... my color better than yours, actually. This soft, soft light. Mm. You're too yellow. Your white balance is off. No, no, no. This light is extremely yellow. Oh, yeah. Well, fix your white balance and make yourself look natural. I'll just change my... No, you don't have to do that right now. We're going to end the stream. Okay, you guys. Uh, Wait, big they want to see my face whiter. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see me with the right white balance. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, that's much better. Oh, yeah, I know. It kind of looks like you're in a cafeteria. Oh, uh, Is there somewhere in the middle? Yeah, I'm of sure. course. Like, yeah, like 40 Kelvin. There you go. You look, Ooh. Yeah, it's, Ooh, it's almost there. Right. It's almost, almost there. there. You need a little bit more warmth. There it is. There it is. There What's it that? is. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There Hi. it is. There it is. It's like I'm in direct sunlight. But yeah. I couldn't actually normally do that because I get sunburned so fast. It's okay. So this is this is the closest I get to being in direct sun. Yeah. Oh, we had another uh, super chat. Ian in here with the super chat. Nick, uh, I I got your sabbatical schedule posted. <laughs> Kent, you are a good brother. 
Kent is a good brother. Kent's oh, yeah. a good bro. Kent's a good bro to have. Love oh. that Kent, Kent crotch shot too. That was a good. One. Um, so listen, Kent. Thank you, thank you again. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, yeah. What I'm going to do right now is officially start my summer vacation. So I'm going to play this intro in reverse, and I would encourage you to hang around and listen to it because you might get to hear some cool satanic messages, and it honestly just sounds better in reverse. So with that said, I'll see you guys in a few weeks. Kent, I'll see you in a few days. Peace out. Vaping rules. Building rules. Be excellent to each other. Much love all the good things. Remember that no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful for you than burning and inhaling deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So no matter what's in your hand, even if it's a frame staple, which you didn't think was a good vape, but now you know it's a good vape. With 0.3. Don't with put 0.5 3. ribbon in there. Mutes the flavor. Even if it's a frame staple with fully unmuted flavor, Let's keep on vaping, guys. Be excellent to each other. Bye. Peace.